knows how to watch TV. The Eternals with Joel. I'm Jeremy. I'm Dre. All three of us are here. Um, For a second, a second uh, episode in a row. Eternally, we shall be here. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. Uh, oh, is that too I much s- pressure, Dre? I sat here for the, for the setup. And, uh, it was it feels, pretty fucking it eternal, feels, wasn't it? Eternal. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ta- it takes a long time. Hey, well, hey, we have some changes. If you're watching, you can notice the changes that we've made. We uh, put up the background that we were talking about last week. So, here, welcome to the How to Watch TV podcast studio. Officially yeah. named by accident by Joel this morning. Yeah, I mean, we don't, this is probably going to be the main podcast that we do from here, so it's, it may as well be the How to Watch TV podcast studio. It's, it's, it's a wordy, it's a wordy thing. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. Change that. I'm, yeah, I'm what taking, do we want? I'm taking the, the I'm, I'm, I'm giving my Miles company studio? the, the naming rights to the studio. And what's it going to be? We are, we are, we are to you live from the Nine Mile podcast studio, the Nine Mile branding podcast studio. That should sound dope. Take the branding out, though. Yeah, take the branding nine out. Mile, just Nine, nine mile, mile Podcast Studio. studio. Nine Mile Studio sound. Yeah. All right, we're here from Nine Mile Studio. Yeah. There you go. Sounds hey, good. officially named live on the podcast. Okay, people care about that. That's what they're tuning in for. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, hey, man, I know they were I all like in it. suspense. I really do like that. The Nine Mile Studio is not bad, yeah. Nine and it gives me a little shout-out. I don't have to right do the, the uh, announcement. The commercial. <laughs> the viewership's going to go down dramatically. Like, post. Okay, we know the name of the studio. <laughs> hey, hey, you say that, but people We're like out. me. They really like me. Okay, so before we get into like spoilers for this movie, Marvel's Eternals, Uh-oh. what did you think? What? Yeah, did you get that? Don't touch it again. What did you do? I'm getting, if I touch the end of that, I get feedback. Well, don't. don't hey, yeah, sorry, don't it's fine. Do. I, I I'll didn't. just turn the phone one down. It was an accident. It's relevant to be on there. It's totally fine. Gone, completely gone. All right. Anyway, totally fine. back into what you were saying. Go ahead. Continue. Spoiler to... free at this point. Did you like the movie? Just for the first few minutes, yes, and then we're you, going to have you. Did you like to... the movie, Jerry? Um, yeah, it was decent. Um, uh, the special effects were really cool. I thought the visual, visually, it was very, very good. Um, I, 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 I don't think I, I, when I see things in movies that make me kind of chuckle, but that that's not intended to make me chuckle. Like, um, just, oh, I guess that's a spoiler. Right. No, it's not. They showed that stuff in the shoes. Finger guns. Kumal Nanjiani with the finger guns was just kind of like, <laughs> like, it just looked kind of stupid. I don't know. Okay, like, I mean, I, I, it's, it's a dumb little thing. But yeah. is that not but, the coolest thing ever? Finger guns. Yeah, I get it. But it was just and like, he's been around when, long enough. And, then, and that way, when he was like, when, when he, he put him up, it. when he put him up slow, I was like, oh my God, how stupid did he feel like doing the filming? Like, freeze motherfucker like i just i don't i don't i don't know man it was just kind of dumb to me but i I get it's a small stupid thing it does it does not ruin the movie for me or anything like that i did enjoy it um i again for the second time in a row we're doing one of these like deep dive podcasts i am i'm a marvel guy i am really unfamiliar with the eternal source material so it was just kind of a new fresh thing for me um i know of them i knew they existed I had never read an Eternals. When did comic you book. know they existed? How long ago? Would oh, you I've think? known since I was a kid that the Eternals were a comic book. Okay. I knew it was a, I, that they existed. I didn't, like I said, never read one, but um, I mean, it's an, it was an interesting story. I thought it was cool. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, before would you, we get into would too you much recommend to... somebody to go see it if they're into the Marvel stuff? Yes, that if they're into the Marvel stuff, yes. If they're a completely somebody who's not watched any of these movies, probably not going to understand what's going on. Well, so no, that's no. not true. That's you wrong. That's wrong. I, uh, they're probably. I don't know how into it they would be, but I, yes, I think new viewer. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Somebody yeah. could sit down with, without seeing any of the other Marvel movies and enjoy this movie. I don't see any reason why not. Right. What'd you think? Um, I enjoyed the movie. And how familiar are you with this, with the Eternals? <clears throat> Vaguely familiar. Okay. okay. I'm only familiar with the Eternals based on their interactions with other heroes, which they don't really have in the comics. You're not coming through here at all, in, man. Yeah, I can't hear you at all. I heard me in here. That's better. Oh. All right. Well, I'll say it again. I, I, I'm familiar with the Eternals. Vaguely. But... Not so much. You but said that, through their interactions yeah, through other shows. Basically, if they interact with other comic book characters, which they don't do much of. But 
because they're I not really supposed to. By 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 their nature, they're not supposed no, to be involved. Not, right, exactly. But no, I enjoyed the movie. I I thought that um, it took a different tone. It did a lot of first time stuff that Marvel never done. Like oh okay, I was gonna say no, like we what, we're, we're not, trying we're to yeah yeah yeah. But Sorry. I'm just saying a lot of the stuff that we saw in this movie was the first time, not just for the like the MCU, but like. Well, yeah, basically for the MCU, like a lot of the stuff that they did in this movie, they didn't really do in other movies at all. Like, uh, and it's, it's, I feel like we need to go back stuff. that back to that yes, after we get sure. to the spoiler Can you make things. Make a note of that or something. Um, well, no, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Like now, minutes. No, um, I I liked the movie. I mean, it certainly and wasn't being good. out of the three of us sitting here, I'll we'll preface what. We'll, 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 uh, with I he have, being the least Marvel guy, out I of the knew of the Eternals here. as of about a month ago or so when they started airing the trailers or whenever that was, maybe two, three months ago. That's all I know of them. I knew Kamel Nanjiani was going to be in it, so I wanted to see it. My my thought process when Swole I heard about Kumal it, Kumal Nanjiani. I know that's old news, but goddamn, right. his arms were fucking gigantic. Yeah. <sighs> Pause. Go ahead. No, oh. go ahead. Finish. No, I liked. I mean. It it was very it was it was slow at times it was I, I agree it, I didn't I don't know it felt like the stakes were kind of unrealistic I mean we'll get into that at some point I just I mean don't even get me started I don't want to say it now but I still want to say it I'm not going to don't say it now we'll I'm just not going to anyways a um, few more brief words and then we'll say spoilers and we can just get into free fucking discussion I about feel that. like there wasn't enough tie in to the Marvel stuff. On the surface of it, for somebody who's never heard of the Eternals, I don't feel like it gave me enough in the Marvel universe. Like we got one flippant comment, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, like it, to me, I was hoping this one was going to be that, and I was so there for that. Like if this one was going to be like they were kind of doing stuff behind the scenes, I was kind of like hoping that. for something similar. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just not the but case. That's, that's not the nature I, of the character, I, right? So it's it's right. don't expect what you're getting out of the other Marvel movies if you're going to see this one. That's all. That would be my warning. It's not like a superhero, I don't know, it is a superhero movie, but it, it didn't feel like, I didn't know any of the characters, so I didn't know who to root for. Uh, I'm always skeptical of Rob Stark, you know. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so then, makes okay. bad choices. Are we going to say, okay, so before we start discussing that, we're just going to say from this point forward, spoiler, right. this, this is, is a spoiler-heavy discussion. Yeah. If you have not seen the movie... Pause here, come back after you've seen it. The stakes are they're trying to stop the planet from giving birth. It's, it's fucking stupid. No, okay, here, can I say something? Can I say something? No. Stop I, watching. What my right. my thought, my first thought when I saw the, 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 the celestial with his hand up holding the person, right. it's too small. The He's celestial too small. Too this small. motherfucker is supposed to give birth to planets and you can see her in his hand? No. Nope. Here's the thing. I don't buy it. I don't buy the whole thing. I thought the whole thing coming out of the planet at the bottom with his fingers coming out. Was like, I, my, my thought was, it's too small. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I even literally joking. said that. I'm left, not even joking. I left the theater on Thursday night and I was like, Jesus. The Celestials were too small. Was small as hell. Too I mean, small. I, I suppose he could keep growing after he comes out of the planet, but. I guess if you want to go off the scale, like in Guardians of the Galaxy, that you, the, the brief glimpse you saw of the one slamming the thing down on the planet, I guess he would have been kind of the scale that we he got. Was a celestial, right? I think so. Oh, so this is not a new thing in the Marvel Universe? The, the Celestial? celestial, the celestial no, oh, they've. No, you're they, not up, up to date yet. No, you've no. seen Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, though. The Guardians? Yeah. Yeah, you okay. remember when he was explaining the Infinity Sto the Infinity Stones? So it was a talking piece. It wasn't a showy. It, thing? He showed it in the in a like a visual like a camera yeah, thing. It was, a, oh, it was a big purple alien. He slammed a staff down, and uh, Peter, uh, Star Lord went. I just peed a little. Yeah, and I mean, vaguely. Benicio del Toro was giving him the the rundown on the Infinity Stones, and he was okay. talking about the Power Stone specifically, and now that one is used to call planets to make room for new well, life or whatever. There's a couple things. One, we don't know if all Celestials have to be the exact same size. This is true. So Fair enough. I, I give them a little leverage and a little leeway on that. We don't know if all Celestials are the same size. We don't know if they grow throughout their life or whatever. My problem... I guess with, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a baby Celestial. It's was, a baby, right. He was just being born. That's but why he was My problem with the Celestial in the movie was I felt like they presented the Celestial as this, like, godlike character. 
and the one the Asha or whatever uh, uh, Asha room or whatever I got the name of it something like something that. like that. But he um, he shouldn't be doing exposition. Something about that voice, you know what I mean? Like when he started talking to uh, Cersei. Are you saying that you didn't like his voice, or you didn't like? I didn't like him talking that long. You know what I mean? What when, kind of stuff was he filling her in? Oh, for Cersei. Yeah, Cersei, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, even towards the end. This. Yeah. And you, your memories were reset. And I don't, no, fuck that. Don't, don't, yeah, we're not already at the architect scene of the Matrix, want, are right, we? You don't want that guy to do that. You can have an emissary or somebody there at the planet and like be like, a herald. Yeah, this is where we do all this, you know, and explain. Uh, like, a her- like, the, like the Silver Surfer right. to Galactus to the give us some sort of character that was like a herald. The guy that's just sitting up, like, explaining everything. Like, okay. what the fuck is you wasting this voice on that for? That's that's that was my issue with it. But you know, it was a little. I mean, small stuff. Weird. Overall, the movie was was pretty good. I don't think like I like in some of the like spoiler free like reviews I happened to run across. Like I really tried to stay away from most of that stuff before I saw the movie, but I did catch a couple of yeah. short reviews. They were like talking about how over woke it was and this and that. I didn't get that feeling from it. Wait, if you based have on any what? representation that's not because of white males in a movie, it's over-woke. that's exact. It's over woke. I, I, like I to me, like I was like those people are wait, out of their wait, minds. Wait though, who are we? Because of the about? gay couple in the movie. It was a gay couple in the movie, and yeah, so now the. Uh, 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 the two dudes that was kissing. They had a, oh yeah yeah, and they had a and they had a kid. That's how little it meant to me. Like exactly. I, but that's that's what. Point. But that's what I'm saying. Like that. So some of the reviews, like saying, like, oh, this. No, he's paper this, boy, right? This is a uh, right paper boy. Yeah, that's, that's oh, this. Is a, uh, boy. This is a this is a you know <laughs> over woke you know in your face. What? No, because there was one scene with them kissing, I didn't, and there was and there there was a gay was married a baby, couple in the movie like that. So that that's there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't think there was any. I didn't get the, the sense from that, that movie at all. People that are saying that are scared of their own shadow, man. Like seriously, not, like, I mean, impairment. not to get into a huge political no, discussion right now. But you're not right going to make your kid gay by taking like, him to see the movie, and then there's no, a gay couple. Well, in there. Oh, I if you're normalizing it. Oh, it was a kid that walked out of there, seemed kind of gay. I don't know. Anyway, point is, that's a joke. It's Right. The, uh, we're gonna have to cancel him from the podcast, Jeremy. <laughs> after that remark, I don't. Joel has canceled Joel does not every episode. <laughs> I don't know if anybody noticed that. There's gonna be a lot of just blank space there where he was like, <laughs> <Right. laughs> and some Take unfilled. What do you think, Dre? Right. But no, um, no. I, honestly, <clears throat> right. the uh, they had the deaf girl. I think that was a little too much representation. Now she's people. from Walking Dead. I stopped watching Walking Dead when it stopped being a TV show. What did it become? Just uh, out of curiosity. Because uh, I still watch the TV. A show. never ending zombie money, movie. Money, something, laundry. I don't I always know. felt like it could go forever. Like uh, years. I mean, we were talking that in season five, six, something like that. I like, mean, why it, would you ever stop this thing? Like, it could, but I mean, should it though? You know, like, well, at least until they get back to the Rick stuff. I thought he was never coming back. They're doing the spin the movies. This is the final season. The, I'm t- the final season has been really, really good so far. But there's, she is a deaf character in The Walking Dead. Oh, I think she's deaf for real. Yeah. Which brings into question her acting ability. I heard that about her being, about the inclusiveness. Somebody <laughs> said, I mean, I guess no, you could say that oh, about the wokeness. Okay. But I, I, I guess my deaf, only, if you really, yeah. that's deaf fine. superhero, that's, that's a problem. That, that's, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, my, okay. I guess if you really want to get technical, like sign language was invented by human beings, right? Right. Right. Where so, is he going with this? Well, they were speaking in sign really language. Crazy. They were speaking in sign language like in like way in the past. Like when right. they were like going through like some of their like back like the backstory stuff, like flashback stuff. I recall them like they they would turn to each other and say stuff in sign language. Right. And it was just like that like hasn't been invented yet. It's not to say that in deaf uh, deaf I people see. deaf people have like existed. Can I uh, can I give? So I, um, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm just saying like too. like I, I know like. But I wanted to give a pass to that. That I was going one step beyond. And that. it's just okay. It was, I'm going like, to give a pass to the English thing, in because in, I'm gonna, okay English because I'm going to reference it in the way they did it in Lost. They didn't do it as overtly in this show or in this movie as they did in Lost. But like when they had like the stuff with mother, I'm not going to get any more spoilery than that. But the stuff with her, she was speaking in like uh, Latin or whatever. And then it did like this like kind of musical cue. And then they started speaking in English. 
it was yeah. for the viewer to be able to enjoy the show right, more. Basically. But the obvious thing here is that English was not invented eight thousand years ago or however long. Fair enough. Also, so I guess it's just a all right. Then just put it in, put it under, file it under that category. They're just speaking the common. They're speaking tongue. the common tongue. In, okay. The better question would have been, why the fuck was she deaf? If she's a sentient robot created by an eternal, I mean, yeah, fair enough, by yeah. a celestial, that's the woke part. You yeah. really wanted to include somebody who represented somebody who was hearing impaired. It, you know what it felt like well, to me that they were doing. Made a, her hearing impaired. Didn't they do both sides of this though? Didn't the, I thought maybe I misunderstood this, but I thought they said the celestial celestials also created the the deviants as the, well. The deviants. Right. So they were trying to even the battle out. I think is that a possibility that mm. they were trying to go? Well, let's give them, let's hamper them a little bit. Mm, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know. Cyclops could fly and do whatever he wanted to do, but... Shout out to Cyclops. Cyclops? Icarus. So, uh, wait a minute. I'm Actually, going with Cyclops But now. he would have made a decent Cyclops. Change his name. No. No. No? No. I'm biased. Cyclops is one of my favorite characters. A lot, of people don't like, yeah, a lot of people don't like Cyclops, but he's one of my favorites. I don't mind Cyclops. I don't mind the character Cyclops. You, you like the James Marsden X-Men movie Cyclops? Is that, was that you're referring to, or you just referring to him as No, a I would just get a whole new actor all together. Okay. Somebody completely different. I'm good with that, too. Somebody I'm completely, I'm completely with good to. with all new actors for the X-Men like, once uh, they finally bring him in. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on board with that. Eternals. Right, I know. Yeah, no, no, we no, can no. tangent. I, I, no, I just, just want right. to say. I would have brought us back if we were too far. That's his responsibility. He's the host. He's going to bring us back around where we need to be. Go ahead. <laughs> it was a little bit woke. Go on. I'll concede that to the people who, who made that. But a little bit. Go one but step yeah, further. I'll Explain it to not, me because I didn't but wait, follow. But not to the point that, that, that these people made it seem. I'll no, let you continue to see. the story. Huh? It didn't detract from the it story. It didn't detract from the story, no. But it was woke. But right. sometimes you need that. Sometimes that, you have that, to force a little bit of diversity. Is that always bad? Like, no, that's what I was about to say. No, it's, it's wrong. That's, no, sometimes you're right. You you're, but you're it's said right. as if it is a bad right. thing. So, yeah. like, the them speaking sign language to each other before... They created before they the humans. So maybe there it is. There, okay, uh, and that was uh, that was actually going to be one of the next point. You actually said that. I was he like, he taught okay, humans can, about finger actually, guns. It's cool. We can almost say that's his legacy. <laughs> that's where this came from. Uh, yeah. Okay. This this right. is that's the lasting legacy of the Eternals. They it's brought finger, us guns. finger guns. Yeah. Fuck the technology. But that's the stuff I wanted more of. When they gave that knife, that I was interested yeah, you there. Know, yeah, that I was like cool. That. I'm I like, did like that. I'm like, please come back to this. But all they came back to it as is they showed her in the future taking a picture of it on a billboard yeah. or whatever. But, but my like, whole thing, she, she, her, more of that items she, given through whole time. I loved she, it when I saw that stuff. The chemical makeup of that weapon, of inanimate object, right? My son but just walked in. Spoilers. Knife, you haven't seen the you movie. Seen you the have movie. to go. Oh, no. Right. Yeah. But she, when she Bye. changed the knife, it went from a rough carved thing yeah. to a smooth knife. Well, with That's, like their design pattern, yeah, in but it. like a, a machine, like a machine. What I'm saying is, her power didn't manifest in that way for the rest of the movie. Okay. All the way up until the point where she was like, "Oh, I changed this dude into a fucking tree," but it's like. She her power was changing. weird. See, I, I, I that's what I'm saying. Thing. It was like undefined because she walked up, and I, I think like, that was one of those things where the director was like, "This would be a dope ass scene. Let's do this." And she walked up like, "Here, for no reason, I'm gonna give you this fucking knife. You already got a knife. They was well on their way. What? What did you? What? What was the purpose of that? No, well, he, that kid gonna go home and get killed for witchcraft. You know what I mean? Right. He gonna, go <laughs> he gonna be like, he gonna show. They're gonna here. burn him at the right. stake. Right. They gonna show him. For <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What the? F how you do that?" And set his ass on fire and toss him off a cliff. Right. It's weird. That's all I'm saying. But it was a cool scene. I, I like the movie a lot, honestly. If I if I had to be, if I'm judging based on a Marvel scale, is not the greatest Marvel movie, obviously. It wasn't even that impactful on the, on the overall. I, That's what I was really I, disappointed I, by. Listen, for I some, think it's something going gonna happen moving forward. Uh, how many setup movies? I mean, like, well, you have to. It's the start of the it. new era. It is. It is. We already been through the, the the Infinity Saga. That's over with. Right. We need a new big threat. We need a new big bad. The celestial. Right now, a celestial level. god saying he's coming back to judge Earth. 
I mean, that's a big bet. And yeah. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. Oh, so that's the setup coming out of this one, is that we got that to look forward to, yeah. the big robot uh, that, stop sign the, head or stop it, light head? I think that they might sing Galactus. I think that's what they... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, they, that's they what I'm thinking. They play with the rules of who are the Celestials, who the Eternals are, and who the, um, you know... Galact- Galactus I think is not a I, Celestial. I, when is the they're gonna make a one? When is the Fantastic Four movie slated for? I don't know now. Is they got so much shit? They just move movies back like a couple of years or some shit. Like okay, so well, if I think that's going to be the big bad in in the Fantastic Four movie is Galactus. I think he's too but, big of a bad for this one. You mean well? I so he's, he's an Avengers be, level right, threat. He's, he's got to be a planet threat. Okay. okay. Fantastic Four have to be team Silver up. Surfer's got to be involved. All that shit. A, um, See, I, I like the celestial direction. I like that stuff and the way that that's going forward from the, like, the there's the more, like, Earth side of Marvel, where that's mm-hmm. things that are centered more on Earth, and then there's, like, the Guardians this of the Galaxy. on Earth, right? I wasn't clear on oh, that. Yeah, yeah but, I'm t- but I'm saying, yes, it took it took place on Earth. I'm saying that the um, the Marvel has, like, the celestial space exploration side of things. Ladies and gentlemen. They, they could go together. Joe was only confused because a lot of the movie took place in Oklahoma. I'm here to tell you, Oklahoma is, in fact, on Earth. All right, go ahead. It just, I, I was, the, the scale of the destruction of which they no, were talking about, like, that, to me, I, when they were getting to, like, oh, it's been blown up six times already, but they were talking about they had been on other planets that had oh, done yeah, that, and then they wiped planets. their memory and started them over again, essentially. Right, right. But the fact that that could ha- happen to Earth, to me, that was like a non-threat. Wait a minute. Say that again. Somebody did say that shit in the movie. What? About the, this would be the sixth time. Yeah. That, I don't remember who they were talking about it, but they said like it had happened were, six times already yeah. to rebirth. And what is it? Wasn't been, it uh, they survived Ajax because that was they, telling, telling Circe? Circe? In the end, when she was kind of explaining, like, kept telling her the truth, essentially. Yeah, but Ajax was with Asherim or whatever for millions of years. So you have to suppose over millions of years they wouldn't. This is going to be more than six times. You know what I mean? So that six yeah, but- time thing is something. That feels specific to Earth or something it, like well, that. Well, it feels but, specific to this crew. Well, is, well, at least right. At least this because clearly there's more, as we found out after the the you know the credit right. thing. There's more than one group of Eternals. Right. So this is the one that was charged with Earth. So was it always Earth? Was it? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused now. Right, because if it was Earth, then that means it's exploded and been destroyed six times, and then no, what? Put I back together and they Earth started six over. Times. I think it was. Are six they different fucking places. planets? What are they doing here? How are they impregnating a planet with a celestial? He did. Did he get to Guardians two yet? I don't the think Guardians so. No. Well, we're gonna leave that alone. Okay, that one I fell asleep. Planets do have sex first time in the MCU. It. Okay. Unfortunately, it, it, okay. they do. He's not wrong. I had to ask. Right. <laughs> you'll 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 get it and when you get to guardians of the galaxy volume two you'll be like oh motherfucker go roll your eyes and be like this is what they were talking it looks like you're about half our volume for whatever reason for me or yeah. no, but i can hear me okay right, pretty good well then i'll trust that it's can just you hear me i can't but it, oh, it's almost like you're fading in and out as you move oh, but yeah, it's I'll, like something i don't might know be like do. super directional like the very right. tip of so it is if I go here, don't that's say best tip. right just there say front the no, just the tip. Just, you say, no, just, say just put your mouth right up to the tip. <laughs> and this is my last podcast, Make, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's great. Though. Make sure your good. lips are almost touching. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go home now. Thank yeah, you. I think people will appreciate being able to hear you more because yeah. it's interesting. Um, I don't know. Like, there's a million uh, side on. tangent things here. What'd you do? Something wrong? He said he can't hear anything in a podcast. Do we have to chat up? Can't hear anything in there? Did I not select the audio? Oh, shit. Well, it's fine. It'll just be for that. It's recording on here. I I get it. Uh. Um, Audio, audio, task cam. Hello. I don't see any levels popping up on there at all. Okay, well, give me one second here. Sorry about that, everybody. 30 minutes in. People are just watching us talk. Wow. No input. All the tweaking, man. 
You unplugged everything. The output. Is, oh, it's this one now. Yeah. Whoopsie. Yep, yeah, that is absolutely it. Hello, hello. That will be the thing. Joel, See, there, we there we go. Now we got our levels. Here we, we have go. our audio right. on sorry, the thing. No, so he literally that, didn't the, uh, fucking plug it in. Yeah, that's it. You know what, guys? You're tweaking. That was your tweaking. The audio. Was I had off. to move it. It was your tweaking. Sorry. We're not going to rediscuss what we already discussed. No, listen to the audio podcast. Listen, you can go back and listen to the audio podcast. He's re, he's recording. He's re, we're giving him shit, Sorry. but he's recording the the actual audio part. The, the, yeah, we're fine. the important part is recorded. It's fine. Um, we're here now. Enjoy the rest of the discussion. Uh, from I will say again, from this point forward, though, just in case you are tuning in, we're talking about the Eternals movie. We are talking full spoilers. So if you have not seen the movie and you don't want to be spoiled, stop it here. Come back after you've seen the movie. Uh, yeah, that. And where were we at in that discussion? I don't know. We were talking about the 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 scope of like the planet thing. Latest live stream. Or let's see, where are our? I just want to make sure that we're live. Like it should be live, and we should have sound. Somebody make some noise. Um, noise. All right, let's talk us through the rest of this. Okay. Um, while Joel skips ads and finds out if we are here. Uh, do we hear do anything? Do we have... Uh, nothing. Do we hear us? Nothing. Latest live stream. Right well, now. Let's see. Where no. are... Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. So we're in there, then. Yeah. That's all I wanted we're to We're live. We're good. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah. We'll, we'll... hear it now. Is this how to read lips? All good. Don't ever... <laughs> That's very funny. How it is, that that's is fantastic. Oh, Who said that? You got to give him credit. Uh, this Midwest is how to read said, lips. Said, that's said, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Don't have Very one. good. That that was very funny, actually. Yeah. So, that's actually anyways. that's a good that's a good burn. <laughs> Sorry. This is why we should be watching the chat. Well, I don't have a device this time. Uh, I'm no, out of no, devices, I'm, and I'm not wrong. I should have pulled it up. You're not wrong. I think wrong. I started I it originally as okay, private. I, I will say it less passively aggressively than that. You were right. I should have had it pulled up on my phone. Thank you. Instead Thank of saying you. you're not wrong, <laughs> that's just Thank a shitty way of you. saying you're right. Jeremy is becoming right. woke. <laughs> He's going to be the latest woke podcaster. Right. Hey, I mean, that's the thing about podcasting is like you can really say whatever you want and like nobody can really cancel you. They can just not listen to your shit. Right. They but, can, yeah. You know. To be 100% fair, nobody has ever been canceled. If they didn't go to jail, they haven't been canceled. Yeah, I guess if they're not incarcerated. Just, just a little bit of clarity right. for the but again, young folks. You can be publicly canceled. Like I mean, Kevin Spacey ain't in jail. He's canceled. Ain't nobody hiring him to act He's, in no movies anymore. Yeah, I mean, but to be fair, yeah, that was going. Yeah, this is just, this is this is time. not this is not we, the discussion we, that we want to have. Here. <laughs> Who yeah. cares? I'll bring it back if we're off too far. Kevin Spacey. We, we got he Mel Gibson fine. back, and Mel Gibson is now like being signed to do big movie roles again. Like seriously, I mean, he had to work his way back up from the bottom. No, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna happen. It's there was some pretty. Sh Mel Gibson? What do you mean he had to work his way back up from the bottom? He's still Mel Gibson. Right, he just had to wait. Well, he, yeah, what are you he, didn't about? To, he didn't have he to. He did a bunch of shit movies. So Be what? He got to do movies. He didn't have to. Everybody. Bottom is thing. an um, extra. I th I th you know what I mean? Like I bottom I is an so, so going further Bad down Santa the tangent, or whatever that garbage hole. was. Oh no, what was it? Fat Santa, Fat Man. There was a one was ridiculous. There was a. Hey, I came across this like YouTube or Facebook thing about Nicolas Cage and how hey, how he's actually done more movies than anyone in Hollywood between like his last like National Treasure and now he's made like seven movies a year. Like nobody fucking goes at that clip. Yeah. But he's been get, like they're not great movies, but he's getting paid. He's fucking out there making money. Really like he's like I gotta feed my family. You know. Huh? I, I said I wish I wish I could do a Nick Cage impression. I wish I could do any impressions, but I'm just I, yeah, I'm not gonna no. we're not going down that. Nick I'm Cage gonna... is 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 prolific for a, a number of reasons, but my favorite line in a in a Nicolas Cage movie is, jo is from John. Malkovich. I'll just leave it at that. Nobody move or the bunny gets it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> well, back to the Eternals. Yeah, I mean. Okay, so favorite Eternal, so we can I switch was, it up a dude, little bit. Dude, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say, oh, like, favorite or least see. favorite character. Like, uh, All right, go ahead. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Icarus. I like the superhero. I like the, uh, I like the Superman 
thing, honestly. What do you like about Superman? That's another thing I want to discuss too. The the two the two blatant DC references in this movie. They don't give a fuck. Or I guess not. Which ones? They're like in in our in our Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're a comic book. Yeah, you're a story for children. You got that Disney money? You don't give a fuck. You gonna say what they you said? Want Batman to say. and Superman. They mentioned both of their names out just oh, yeah. blatantly. Not like the man who dresses like a bat. They said Batman. Yeah, and Superman. Superman and Clark. Yeah. To make sure you knew that they, they weren't yeah. fucking around. About Superman. Right. So, th- but th- what? Anyway, those were sh- veiled shots at them or something. <laughs> a little bit. What, what, what was it? the context? They said that they the were kid con- the kid thought he was Superman. See, to me, that says that inside of this universe, Superman DC exists. exists. DC yeah. exists as a as a like I said, a, as a comic book, as a story. Okay, for that I was trying to figure out how you got to that. That makes sense. Uh, but or, why Superman? What do you like about Superman? Are you uh, a Superman fan? I I hate Superman in character. Okay, let's be clear. I like Superman's power set. If you give Superman's power set to a more interesting character, I'm all, all I'm on board with that. Clark Kent running yeah. around with glasses on, trying to be a fucking reporter at, at the Daily Bugle or whatever the fuck. Daily, the most right? the Daily Planet. Daily Planet. There you go. If he's running around, that shit is so stupid. Like I'm all powerful. Nobody on the world, on the planet can fuck with me, and I'm gonna run around in the disguise. Right. See, the most interesting Superman. I would damn, they not even have clothes on if I was Superman. The most interesting <laughs> Superman stories are always the Same. ones that. Where he he doesn't have like his power set gets given to someone else, or he gets turned into a bad guy, like the injustice storyline. Yeah, where he like he gets tricked by the Joker into killing Killing his pregnant wife Lois Lane, and then he just goes bonkers and basically takes over the planet. And does and like I'm running shit my way now, and it's it was way more interesting character. That Superman was way more interesting than the normal Superman. Yeah, if you're all powerful. It's like there's no limit to what you will do. So if you get upset, yeah, your upset might take on a different type of, you know, thing. Yeah, it's just a boring character. Yeah, I was just Superman curious sucks. why I, I, why that was what you liked yeah, out of I, I like Icarus. Icarus. Because it's like, that's Superman. You know what I'm saying? That's See, I think Superman he's not even close to the powerful as Superman. Like, as far as, like, he, strength he level. Into the I mean, he can sun, shoot bro. the... And I'm pretty sure they show him burning up. No, they implied it. He oh, you're right. Die. They did imply it. Hey, Superman can hey, go to the sun hey, with no whoa, problem. Whoa, whoa. Are Superman we just go to really the sun and get gloss, more powerful. Are we going to gloss right over this? Well, I'm going. That Icarus flew too close to the sun? Yeah. I uh, yeah. did that on purpose. Now, why, though? To He's lose a... his wings? He didn't even have them. Right. He didn't wear a cape. Didn't wear a cape. I don't know. I didn't like his character. I, I thought uh, I kept thinking Rob Stark the whole time, and I didn't trust him. And I didn't I trust right him at all. I didn't trust him, him at all. I also didn't trust Jon Snow in this one. Like he seemed like he was up to something. He knew more I, than he let he on. Knew more than he let on. But I don't think he's not a I, he's not a bad guy. He's well, not a villain. The he's Black an Knight is a superhero. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like right. he's somebody. He's that keeping a secret. Yeah. Yeah. He's it, it, not necessarily a villain, but he's being just. Dis- Distrustful. Yeah, he's being. Dis- he was about to tell devious. her at the end before yeah. shit started going down. He couldn't. He couldn't tell her. I just. Uh, it. It does feel very much like the B. The B characters at this point, and I know that that's just because I never got deep into comics. So maybe. I mean, dude. Some honestly, of these are really like important, the, I, but I know of these characters, but they're to me. And like I said, you can make fun of me, like anybody who's on here, uh, super like uh, deep. Marvel Comics guy that's going to make fun of me for this. I knew of these characters. I knew nothing about the Black Knight. And to me, I'm sorry, they they are bringing in some obscure characters. Give me the fucking X-Men already. See, I'm I'm semi a comic book nerd. I'm getting pretty close to being a full-on comic book nerd because I was waiting for the Black Knight to show up in um, Ant-Man. Ant-Man 2. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I haven't seen that one. Is that where Black Knight... From what I understand, he's been a little bit of everywhere. He's been an Avenger. He's been... Well, yeah, he's, he's been yeah. an Avenger, but I was thinking that he was going to show up inside the uh, Quantum Realm. I did like the effect on the sword when he put his hand close yeah, to the sword. Yeah, that was weird. Like yeah. the, now, okay, correct me if I'm wrong like here. Magnetic maybe you know, water maybe, or something? Can we, can we discuss the sword real quick? Yeah. The, that's the ebony blade, correct? Ebony blade. So that's... And what is that, that supposed to mean? Excalibur. Is it the same thing? I'm pretty sure Excalibur and the ebony. She, she, Didn't she, she talk she about King him. Arthur? She corrected him, though. He said, is that the ebony blade? She said, no, Excalibur. Oh. I think they're different blades. Anyway, is is the ebony blade in the comic books, that's what 
Gore the God Butcher was using, correct? No. No. That's the Necro Sword. Oh, that's different. So, oh, the Necro Sword is, is different. So, um, that's what Null uses as well. Right. Okay. That's what Gore the God Butcher got it from. He took it, but Null wasn't around then. No. Uh, he still existed, but he Null was like locked away. Or everything. Yeah, Null was the void, the the darkness before there was light. There's this, it's this character from like almost like a couple of years ago, comic so books that I'm talking Venom about. From. I just wanted to like uh, talk about that sword. I wanted to get my comic book sword straightened out before okay. we go any further. So it's not, the Ebony Blade is not the Necro Sword. No. Two different no. things. Okay. Moving on. I did like the Ebony Blade. I liked the effect, like when he touched it, the way that it like, kind of gravitated towards him because it, he, he, it must be his lineage. Like, he Is there must anything be, to it being wrapped like a mummy? Well, it was kind of weird, but it was cool. If, okay. if you touch it, you have to kill. That's the dope part about the Black Knight. He has to murder. He not just blatantly not kill, like, but he can. He, he still has control over his, his faculties, right? He doesn't he just go blindly and murder people like a werewolf would, right? He slowly loses control, but he has to murder, period. Like... He pick up the sword, he's going to be murdering people. That's what's so dope about this. How game. many? Oh, shit, I don't know how much can this... <laughs> like, is it if you pick it up, you got to kill one person before you put it down, or... See, to me, the thing, and another thing that bugs me about Icarus is, like, you saw the dude, like, on the beach, caveman, with his son, teaching his son how to fish, or whatever it might be. Wait, oh, Icarus. At the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Like Icarus waited until the thing ate to do the kid's dad to like right. Yeah, like he 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 could have been there. If he's Superman, he'd have been there to say to dad too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So anyway, you said your favorite character is Icarus. Where it is? Did you talk about your favorite or least favorite characters? I mean, least favorite would have probably been Icarus. I didn't really like that guy. We're, gonna, we're going on the offensive. We're going to attack you right now, Jerry. I just it's I did nothing not to do like with your character. opinion. I don't know it's if I like that. My opinion. I just didn't like the. You guy. like him? Do you like him as the as he a character? For, or do you like his Joel power set? Doesn't like him because of the Game of Thrones. No. How long did he bail for? He was. He, he bailed so for funny man. A He's always years? on the opposite side of of things where like the normal person falls in like a movie. Like, how many people are Anakin Skywalker fans? Mm, you mean? I, I mean, watched them. Christensen? No, I'm talking them, about just the character of Anakin I watched Skywalker. Them one through he, nine. He's like, he's like, he's like mi- misunderstood. He's the hero he's of, like, the char- he, of the thing. He got fucked over by the, the fuck the Jedi. Is is basically like his like. He's yeah. supposed to I'm bring balance to, give to you the force. His perspective on most of these things, like when I get a text he in the middle of the day that says he brought says, balance to the force, that says fuck Captain America. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get these conversations, which was actually an interesting conversation I'm not opposed to having right now. Right. I mean, um, I just felt it was like... Civil War. He was watching the movie Civil War, and he sent me a, a text even message. Even after he was straight up called out, like, he still wouldn't admit that he was wrong. Shout and, out to my two children in the chat. Go ahead. And I just... I don't know. I felt like whether... He's supposed to be the guy that does the right thing. And I agree with Tony Stark that they need some sort of scrutiny to be they need to be held to some sort of a standard in the world and it's not like they were just going to roll over them and go here you can't ever use your powers they have powers they could use them if they wanted to like they would have been involved in the discussions about what the what the accords said it wouldn't have been like they would have got you know what I mean? All of a sudden, here's all these rules against you. It would have been, here's what we can do to make you everybody feel safer. Here's how we can be accountable. Something. They would have been... In, and if it went wrong, it went wrong then. But this... He was adamant from the... What? You got something? You look like you got something. <laughs> I have something, but I, I want to I wanna wait. I want to let Jeremy respond. No, I, 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 I... Listen, I'm... I, I'm almost kind of down the middle on it. I'm a, I, I don't want to say fuck Captain America because I see what he was doing. That was his best friend from childhood that he was trying to protect. Bucky. And, and like, it's been you like get, 15 no, but it's, years. It's, it's, it's a fucking human instinct, though. No, but it hasn't been for him. Cab was frozen for 75 years. Right. This so like, like 15 years. I'm saying like since they were friends. Like it wasn't even that long since he saw his friend. Like, it wasn't like they, they, he was, because they were frozen for 70 years or whatever, it's not like they weren't seeing each other right before they got frozen and then shortly after they were unfrozen. No, the last time they saw each other was in the first Captain America movie when Bucky fell off the train. And, that and was then, the last time, and then the, in the present day. 
in Winter Soldier. Right. They, they both got frozen, though, right? No. Bucky was used as an assassin in the Winter Soldier. Oh, he just doesn't age. Yeah, Bucky old as shit. They yeah. freeze him in un- he, um, uh, he, occasionally. Yes, he, he was, he was, he was super again. soldier. He was genetically enhanced. To, right. Okay, so he's yeah. never he's not going to do the Captain America thing and decide to get old one day and just age out of it. Did Bucky ever get old in the comics? I don't remember. I don't know either. He, he um, Captain America decided to go back and not, he, like, did he not take the super soldier serum what, in Endgame? What do you mean when Cap when he's sitting when he's sitting on the bench at the old Cap at the end? No, Cap. He Cap just ages. stayed. He Super went back and age. stayed. Okay, so then why? So Bucky doesn't age. Why? Bucky doesn't age because the same reason why Steve was still because Jacob said when they so. Him. The difference was they would freeze Bucky, unthaw him. He'd do a mission and then they put they him put him back, back in free. Okay, I got you. Like they had all of the other. Super I guess my point is, it's, I see it's not like he hasn't seen this dude that much. It's just somebody he recognizes, and that must be exciting for him. But he's got all these people. What do you mean? Present. It's not just somebody he recognizes. It's his best fucking friend. Right. Again, but he's he. How long has he been working with missing? the Avengers you know now? You turn into an assassin. Huh? Joe will kill you. I'm saying the Joe has no. Plan. Wait. What do you mean kill him? I didn't Joe say kill him. Hey, he's not coming to rescue me like Captain. I Cap didn't say to Bucky. kill him. Uh, why? No, no. You don't got to kill okay, the guy. No, I, I, I agree. I'm that saying Cap he's been working have... with the, the Avengers for a while now, and what that shit doesn't matter at all. Like he, he's just so loyal to somebody he knew years ago that. I don't and I'm know. saying that to Cap, it was is is it's it's not it's more fresh for Captain America being frozen for 75 years. If he would have yeah. been awake for all that time, and 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 his and friend was gone, his friend was then, gone. Then yes, that pain that and... passes, right? Yeah. And, or, well, no, I think you would have missed him more. Right. This, this one, it's like, oh shit, okay. we were both frozen. Oh, what's to, up, man? Right. Finding that. <laughs> oh, see, you're evil. And that's okay. So, and that's <laughs> another thing. Like he, he's like one of the only other people on Earth that's like me. Is. Like it, my circumstances, right. I share that this I can is only share connection to his right. past. Right. To his past. It was, it was so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I understand that as a human instinct. Did Cap handle it properly? No, I don't think so. Did he ever cop to handling I it properly? I don't. I don't know really. if he did. No. That's the dick move for me. That's where it's like fuck him. He's he pretends to be this all good, righteous person, and he can't even like any. I I am willing to forgive anybody who's like I made a mistake. We're gonna let you get to Endgame before we like. I've seen Endgame. Okay, so you saw that they had that confrontation that needed to be had between Tony and Cap. I mean, I don't really Tony remember it now, oh, yeah, but like yeah. at the, during Civil War is what I just saw. Tony kinda, so that one was just... Tony kind of set them straight. Like, yeah, you do all this. I'm the good guy. All this. Like, you know, you're on bullshit, man. You fucked up. You made poor choices. You right. fucked up. Like, that's yeah, Tony why I was saying him. fuck he, Captain he, America. Right, right. I haven't so, gotten to that in this but, watch through. This is what I did want to say. This is why I don't say fuck Cap. Because the MCU is a 10 plus years of movies where every major character has a story arc or character arc a yeah character arc. yeah Cap they go does through not something have one. they change as a character or Cap grow has no character arc he's the purest character but i'll but tell you why, why I, that's where i disagree but because but he's the, not that pure no he, he might he not is. be right but he's pure when he's like his he's character stubborn doesn't is change what he is. right and that's the and they is that's that why pure? they i've been stubborn that's why for they years. made that but that's why they made that speech at uh Peggy's funeral uh about you know standing there like Your a speech you hated oh, dude i fucking hated he texted that me. Well, look, what a time to give us a, a pep talk to somebody else but, during a eulogy but, for your but aunt but check it out but check it out the reason why they did that is because in the comics that was actually it's a Steve. movie. That's why that they was did actually that. Steve's speech in the comics, right? That was Captain America's speech from the comics, but they gave it to uh, his what's or her niece, Sharon, Sharon Carter. Carter. But that that that's a uh, foreshadowing or whatever. But that's a uh, the moment in Endgame when Thanos and the whole army is standing there and they coming out of the ships and shit, and Cap is the only hero alive or standing up, and he stands there like, okay, fuck it, I have to fight this whole. That's all the same through line of this is a guy who's going to fight for what he feels he's is gonna right. He's going to do like no she said and plant himself like a tree. He did it in the alley with the bully all the way up to fighting Thanos who's destroying fucking planets. I just disagree with I the stuff like he sticks up his for. His fucking character. He's, he knows what he believes in, period. Even after and being he, proved wrong or whatever, he's still... Matter. It, it, that's the part it that that's matter. just being stubborn. I like growth. I like when somebody learns from what happens. If if there's if there's never any possibility for growth with him, then I'm bored with him as a character. Yeah, but we need that. He's America. Every- because he's America. 
Now that's on the meta America's level. America's not the same as it was back in the when day. Captain America was created. It's way worse. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> shit's they, way more activated because, now. Because America refuses to accept that they did some shit wrong. They'll keep pussyfooting around and shit. Okay, fine. If it's so, saying fuck America, then fine. <laughs> Jesus, I if, that's where, hey, if that's what they're getting to with that character. Look at my shirt. I didn't say it, Joel said No, it. but if that's what the point of that character is, then they've done well with it. Oh, that's, it's this. Yo, no, that's right. Character. That's the point if of the character. If it's to make you go, America's fucked. Uh, well, and they I don't. Mean, they don't have any room for growth. Not America's fuck. Captain America represents America, the people. That's what I'm saying. Like if they, Iron if Mary we re- aren't willing to grow, our, we're uh, fucked. Military industrial complex. Um, and that's pretty much that, that's what those characters represent. But like that makes sense, right? If we as people are not willing to grow, then what's the fucking point? Yeah, but I mean, he stands for something. It's what? Just for staying America. the same? <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah. The American way you just put to me is he being stubborn. To, he just wanted to make America great again. And but I don't understand failed. why that's a problem. <laughs> I'm not seeing why that's a problem. Oh, it was great in the forties when he was in char- when he was there and then it then it was you bad and now some, it's yeah. you get some uh, ice cream with some malt and all that shit. And it boots. just it makes a case for being stubborn, that's all. And yeah. I, that that you could boil his whole character down if he's not gonna grow I, I, He's just there. Then. His, his stubbornness saved the Avengers and the world more times than it didn't. He made one bad choice with, with when it came to saving his friend, but he also was the one who was trying to tell Tony, "Let's not make murder bots." Let's. He's telling Nick Fury, "Let's not try to take people's lives with gunships in the air before they even commit the crime that we predicted them to do." He's always on the side of freedom. And he doesn't compromise that for anything. Even when it has its flaws, he's basically saying, I'll I'll give you the latitude to fuck up and I'll take you to jail, but I'm not going to kill you before you commit the crime. So more often than not, Captain America is right in the movies. Just just being clear, he, he was wrong for... Well, it all comes down to opinion, doesn't it? Like in terms yeah, but, of no, like, but what he's saying, what he's saying, yes, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe with the Bucky stuff and, and with the way he handled that, yeah, he was probably wrong on the way he handled that most of the time. Most of the right? time, this, yeah, he, this is the dude. He's on the side saying, of the hey, side that you should be on. Let's be right. Let's not do this thing where we're killing people because we think they're gonna be criminals. Because that's what Nick Fury. That was Winter Soldier. He's speaking of right. Okay. So when they did the the three. Uh, well, Hydra had secretly taken over Shield, but they had the three, the gunships, right? That would pick okay. people out, and and they were gonna just wipe the planet clean, essentially. Yeah. And Nick Fury was proud of it. And I'm Nick Fury was he proud. Wasn't, right. He wasn't an Avenger. I'm just saying he's kind of a tool, yeah. maybe a useful one at times. Yeah, but but his character does nothing for me. That's okay. what I'm saying. I don't have any emotional connection to that character because I don't care about somebody who seemingly can't get hurt and seemingly never learns from anything. To me, that doesn't do any. Uh, like uh, that's why I've always been like, "What are you into, Captain? What about Captain America?" Like, I mean, uh, fair enough. He was never even growing up. Ca- I always thought Captain America looked kind of stupid in the comic books. They managed to to make him. He cool. doesn't look in too goofy so, or anything. So, no, like that, no, that mask. Well, in thing, the movie, the mask the, hat. It's, it's a stupid idea, the, but the it's first, fine. the first Avengers movie costume, in retrospect, is yeah. pretty fucking bad. Okay. Yeah, when he puts on like the, it looks more like military gear. Like he's got like the belt buckles and all that. Like he when was wearing like, like, a, Batman like the, suits, the, the like the real defined where it's like. Except no, the, it's just the, like it was almost like a it's almost like a bulletproof vest kind of thing that looks like he's wearing. Okay. It, it, it just like the what what he wears in like um you know when he goes and steals his Captain America suit from uh, from the museum like right. that costume. Yeah. That's the one I like. You know what so I'm you saying? You like the old one. The one from the one he wore in like yeah, would look like the World War 2 costume kind of. Right, yeah. But like but like the one he wore in the first Avengers movie that uh Phil gave him right. was lame as hell. Right. 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 That's all I'm saying. Like, so, but as far as the, like, they, I like Chris Evans, Captain America. I do like that character. Yes. I, I, I do agree with you on, on the Civil War stuff. I don't, he did not handle that properly. Okay. Yeah, it's as easy as, hey, man, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Like, the fact I, that we, you got to see I where that, I was that, coming right. from. Sorry. 
Huh? Did he say he was sorry? I didn't get that. I was I Tony. Was and Tony that. and and Cap. I think eventually do kind of apologize to each other. In I don't not think so, in Civil War. Not in Civil War. No, and not no, so no. many war. And not so many words. I don't think it happens till. Because that's endgame. a simple thing. I've learned that as I got older, though. I kind of have. Like that you just say I'm sorry, and like I won't do that. Like I didn't mean for that to come. They off. have that conversation. But in you have to be fair. The 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 guys who made the movie, they had a monumental task. You had. The Civil War comic adaptation. Yeah, he adaptation. said it was mutants One, and stuff. Right, right. Oh, had they had to dumb it down. I, I mean, it, and the storyline for Civil War in the comics was gigantic. Yeah. It spanned a couple of years. Like, yeah. it was a huge, yeah. huge storyline. Was build to them getting they angry with each other? Age of Ultron, no. To be just fair. long Age fighting. of Ultron was a huge thing. That's why, that's why the, the, that title always bugs me, Age of Ultron, because it was like a few days. Days of Ultron, the, the weekend days of, of Ultron. Ultron. I, sh- I, 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 I think like Rise weekend of Ultron. Ultron. Rise of bad. Ultron would have been better name for that movie. Yeah. Oh, hey, Lena. But uh, yeah. so all that being said, did you like any of the Eternals characters? Well, so that's what you you guys had. I didn't say. I didn't discuss my the the little the little kid one sprite. She. What was that? What was her power? Like, I, it was. Seemingly shifting, I, I, I couldn't. It was really... almost similar to Loki, illusion. like illusion magic, like kind of thing. Okay, okay. S- discussing their powers, I've been. I, I keep forgetting to say this. I keep thinking of it, but like as far as the power sets of all of the characters, as far as like the power sets in the Marvel movies, this was, this was a weird one. The, they the want... powers were really. You gotta have new powers, though, bro. I get, no, I get. You can't. You can't keep repeating the same old stuff. I understand that. Icarus being one thing is that he, like you said, Superman. He was Oops. Superman. Angelina Jolie. That was I, the stupidest power I've ever seen. Oh fuck off! That was my favorite. Oh, I can I can make a sword. I can make something that looks like a um one of those things that like King Titan would have in uh Little Mermaid, a trident. I can I can manifest a oh, trident see, and I a sword, a shield. Totally different because it was stupid I, as that hell. was my that was my favorite power in the I movie was her, really? her manifesting the weapon. She was the goddess of war. She was the I liked she was her the power. God of war. She That's could right. manifest any weapon that she could want out of the fucking thing. It seemed like she always she did the same sword blade. and shield. Well, that's like, we're, yeah. Well, that's how she knew how to fight. I, she, she was an she expert at that fight. She was like, trainer. listen, I thought... That would have been my least favorite one. I, I thought that one was cool. <laughs> o- only because... Oh, no, what's his name? I've played, it... played a bunch of games that have that kind of mechanic. Like, Final Fantasy fifteen has that mechanic where, like, he, like, he starts swinging the sword and doing a combo, and the, the we- as he's swinging, the weapons are, like, appearing in his hand, like, magically. And then he's like, but different ones. Like, I can okay. do, like, a combo with, like, a sword and a spear, but he's not carrying anything. They're just, like manifesting in his hands as he's doing the move. I, I thought that was similar to that, so I actually liked that power. And um, I didn't really... It seemed get... like the one I would want the least out of those. Like, out of the oh, ones that were shit. available. I just had a fucking revelation. Lena yeah. said you said, uh, like, nine times within two sentences. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I just Bro. Like. What? The deviants. Go on. The main deviant that was taking powers. We're in a spoiler section, by the way, just Oh, we're well we're into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the main deviant that was taking powers, he was referring to the memories as our memories. Right. The deviants came from deep space in the beginning. You remember the, uh, the, the tech scroll at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. The deviants came from deep space. Okay. According to the tech scroll. But but they the other ones came from Olympia according but, to text scroll and that but, was bullshit. Right, they were both created. That's my point. It was yeah. bullshit. And the the deviants started evolving and he lost control of them. Deviant just literally means. I mean, the, by definition, yeah, of the deviated word, from their original path. They were Eternals as well. That's my point. What they wanted the weird like. Creature looking they look, version see, of it. They, see, I, I think, think they that were if you really look like, look at it, like it was what like humans would like the bit. humans, any humans that would have witnessed like the these events happen throughout history that they were involved in, uh-huh. like fighting these creatures or whatever, like would have wrote these things down as fantastic stories, and throughout time they would have just been interpreted as myth and things. So, like, I think those 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 deviants, like, like the, the ones that he created, like, where you see him create, the, like, the four, and they had, like, the, the scene where they were all lined up, and then they fly towards the screen. Like, uh, they were all, like, mythological 
creatures of right. old. Like one looked like a griffin. One looked like uh, um. Oh yeah, yeah. When them? they became the like one with the scorpion, Voltron. the scorpion tail. He said Voltron more than twice in the movie. I laughed, but when uh, the <laughs> celestial looked like he was like he, the like planet exploded oh, around him, he was like Shh, Shh. yeah, I was like Voltron. And then you said Voltron, and then like later on in the movie, it like lined up, like, and you're like leaning over, you're like Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> like, but the the power sets were different. Um, I didn't. Uh, I guess I, I want to watch it again, see if I can understand it better. I think a, a second viewing would definitely be... How was it? You This was your second time when we went to... Was it was it better the second time around? Same? Did you enjoy it more? Were you able to pay was, more attention to detail? I was able to watch more details, obviously, yeah. uh, the second time around. The first time I watched it, I was more or less just looking like, okay, here's these people, here's the powers, this is what they... You know, just watching the story. But the second time around... Today, I would say, I, I don't. I, honestly, I don't. The only thing I noticed that was that stood out to me watching it a second time was that that scene I was talking about before we start recording with Cersei. That that just bugs me. I feel like that's a big mistake. It shouldn't have happened. You have to refresh my memory. The, the scene where it, where she turned the deviant into a tree. Oh, a tree. Okay. That doesn't make fucking sense. Why? What if she just because didn't she understand her powers? She fell into a nine foot deep pool of water. Uh -huh. A deviant the size of a fucking Chevy jumped into the water with her. Right. And then when she turned him into a tree, next thing you know, like the water was like this deep. Yeah, like he said though, that that's she converted water into stuff. That was well, that or it's displacement. The I was tree thinking took up most of the volume of the pool, displacing the water out of the pool. I give you that one. I give you that one. <laughs> It's called science. But my thought when they when that happened you, was buddy. was that how some of them had remained on the planet? Like were some of them made into trees? Like I thought that's what. Well, no, the uh, I think the I think they were giving us a little uh, uh, global warming thing when they were, like uh, some of them were frozen the ice caps for thousands of years. The ones right. where he where he pushed her into the ones that were yeah. that killed. Yeah, but uh, they, Salma Hayek. That was they would they, they kind of like they wouldn't. Have, you wouldn't be able to attribute that to global warming, warming because they basically said it was because of the emergence of the celestial. That's the that's the, so, that's just what I thought. I was yeah, and then I they kind the of did their part like to that. help global warming by freezing a new. I, they they made new icebergs. They made new icebergs. That shit doesn't happen. That's a big dumbass thing. Uh, you know somebody's gonna buy that island. But so underwater, that's that's all going to be an attraction in the next. But they'll build roller coasters on a dude's fingertips and shit. But underneath the water. In theory, it's going all the way down the to the core. center of the Earth and whatever is, like, closing around it, presumably. Because the, you're talking about the, the baby celestial? Yeah. Okay. That just remains there. Like, that was the coolest thing of the movie to me. Not it happening, but the freezing over of it and it being left in the water. Yeah, it's like, just I like there. the look of shit like so that. So now, that... Right, it was super cool, but the, like, the lights going out in its eyes, they killed that thing. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay. You sure it's not Tiamat. just frozen? See, Tiamat oh, yeah. is a name from somewhere too. That's a yeah, it is from um. I don't know what mythology it comes from. Look it up. I guess you could, yeah. But the Tiamat is a I, that's that's the name that I've seen in a ton of different video games. Like that's a like a as a boss or like okay. a in in that a game that deals. It might be Norse mythology or something. I'm not really sure where it comes from. I, I guess I could Google I it. I guess I'll be the phone guy. You can. I'm talking, so I didn't want to like stop. Right. You know, saying I, I didn't Google even think it, like, to do it. I'm just like, sitting here. They listening. did use like, so like some of their names were interesting. Like Thena. Thena was like she said her at the end. She called her Athena. She said no, it's Thena. Drop the A. Athena is the Greek goddess of war. Right. So like this is her. Being personified as that through mm. ancient mythology, right? Okay, right. so they were calling right. her the wrong name in Greek mythology. The dude who the the um uh, the guy who created all the cool like I thought his power. I honestly thought his power set was the coolest. Now that I'm thinking about it, Ooh. the um go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll read that afterwards. Uh, the um uh, the power set Festus. And he he was creating all those like mechanisms, the ones oh, that, like yeah. tied him down. And his like when he was like fighting, he had some cool shit. Like his he like created the shield like, around him, and like he like it was like machinations. Like they they weren't like magical. It was almost like he, he was, was the creating guy that was little Tony machines, Stark building things. Yes, like in yes. the air. So that Festus, he, the 
there was like a there's a Greek god named Hephaestus, and he was like a forge master. Like he, gave he created us weapons, huh? He gave us weapons. He created weapons. Right. So it was like the, so they, they kind of they reverse were like, engineered Greek mythology to make it work. Uh, in the Olympia Marvel was thing. the Greek gods come from Olympus. Olympus so yeah. like yes, I think it was kind of that. Like it was like they were like or they were just doing an homage. Well, no, their names are there. They were even uh, the celestial that created them. He 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 made the first sun. He said, let there be light. I mean, they're basically saying all of our myths, no matter where you come from, came from the Eternals and the Celestials. Okay. Well, I mean, in that way, it's kind of cool. I was hoping He's coming for more up. He's coming tie up. in with the um, the Marvel stu- like universe stuff. I thought this was gonna be there were gonna be some big um, implications here. The one scene I was hoping to see was them sitting there just kind of watching some crazy shit going down. I'm like, I just picture them sitting on a mountainside, watching a city being destroyed by the Avengers or whatever. Going, yeah, we can't get involved. And in, in terms of sitting there watching the world burn, they did do that sort of at the end with Sprite and uh, Icarus when they were sitting there watching the volcano erupting. Tiamat is a primordially... I'm sorry to interrupt your oh, you're good. Dude, go ahead and finish what you're saying. I feel, like he, I feel like he checked out, too, <laughs> somewhere in the middle of that. No, I didn't. I was reading at, and I was listening to you at the same time. I was with you. The Tiamat is a primordial Babylonian goddess. That's where they said they came from. They were or in Bab- Babylon. And I think that in the end, when that thing started to close its palm, I think you saw some of the city of Babylon around it. Like it was buried. Oh, you mean when it was showing it? Like- the very end, like when he was pulling up, when, his, when the things, the celestial's hand was closing. Did you not see some of like the blue city walls buried in the background? Was I mistaken on that? That would be dope. That was one of the things right. I was most interested uh, in is, is when they the showed that old celestial. Shit. She the, gave birth to the first generation of gods. She was a storm god, Marduk. It doesn't say like so. It's Babylonian. I, it's it's so it's 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 an old old name. That was that blue walled city, Babylon. Yeah. yeah. That was the stuff that I was like hoping for more of. I w- really thought we were going to get more like back in the day tell me about stuff. how you I guys was def- that like was definitely a forrest the most gump style thing where you show me how you influenced world society that was and more like yes. technology and all that yeah. stuff and even the avengers like they well, could have been behind thing. the scenes to some of it well they, they, i thought i thought we i i would have liked to see more connective tissue between and maybe this. there is some that people will point out I, I, if you know of anything I i'll mean, just say this think about this movie the same way we thought about Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody was familiar with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody was familiar with the characters. When the movie came out, it was basically an experiment. The thing that got that movie over is Chris Pratt, that soundtrack, and a lot of like colorful action and shit. This movie is they they took the same risk. I took some swings. A whole bunch of characters that nobody knows anything about. Right. And I think out of the gate, it's not nearly as good. Oh no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say as no. Oh, close. as as Guardians. I'm saying in terms it's of that experiment saying, uh, paying off. My here's my experience: the first time I ever saw Guardians of the Galaxy, I did not go see that movie in the theater because I was like, don't I care. Don't, I don't care. Guardians of the Galaxy. When you look at them on paper, drawn like the originals, mm-hmm. I thought Star Lord looks really stupid with that dumb helmet on. Like I just didn't care for it. Um, Five minutes into that movie, as soon as he turns on the Walkman and he starts doing da da and he's dancing around and shit, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. I fucking love it. I love it already. And I, I loved that movie from the very beginning to the and very end, and I love the second one. It's one of I'm my saying. favorite MCU films is Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's what I'm saying. That's what got them over with I movie. was was that, yes. I Like I said, that one was another one. I was completely 100% unfamiliar with any of the comic books. I knew they existed. I... I didn't know anything about them. Yeah, I it, love those movies. It may be something more once I'm caught up to where like I'm satisfied with the conclusion of the previous stories because I'm I'm right in the middle still. I just started phase 3 of the Marvel stuff. You just finished Civil War, so yeah, you're about Civil to start War. like Black Panther, Doctor Strange. Right. Yeah, that's going to be dope. Have you ever seen Doctor Strange? That's the next one I have to watch. It's I'll a really watch good one. Tonight. Doctor Strange is super cool, yeah. Try not to pay attention to the shift in accent. His? <laughs> yeah. Why, is he supposed to not be British, but he accidentally... He's supposed it? to be from New York. 
Okay. And he doesn't hold his accent very well. It's, He's no Dr. House. No, he, right. He does it perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Laurie. Shout out to Hugh, Hugh Laurie. Laurie. Speaking we just of have which, Hugh right Laurie over, instead right of over my shoulder. Though. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Other stuff about this one. I usually go, try to remember the things that irritated me a little bit, just because it's a starting point for a conversation. Um, uh, so, so, finger guns so Icarus, we should have seen the Icarus thing coming. I did. Like I knew it the I whole mean, time. For the, the very first time he was somebody's, gone for... Some, I, you said that shit. He I, was like, he, oh, he's like up a, to something. I don't somebody, like that. Because somebody, I, somebody said something to him about... I forget what it was, but he kind of looked away, and I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, I don't trust him. Right. I was like, he's did, he's done something. How long was he it gone? It didn't end up being as say? bad as like a Couple full, hundred years. Like a full-on betrayal is what I thought it was, is that I thought it was going to be, because he was just doing what he thought was right, his he was, purpose. He was he Captain he, America. He was fo- stubbornly following what he thought was his purpose, you know. I get, so I understand kind of where they went with it. Notice how I said fuck Icarus, too, you know. You said, where, I went with that, where I went with that. <laughs> Where they went with the character was okay with me, because um, like I said, it, it didn't end up being as like, oh, he's just he's been the bad guy the whole time. It, it was kind of that, but it was it, it was softer than that. It wasn't like a full on like like he was crying at the end because he felt bad for betraying his friends. Like when he killed Salma Hayek, he was like fucking screamed and like shot his lasers into the fuck you know because he didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like right. he was doing what he felt he had to. I mean, like the thing that was like, interesting you about you can that. almost understand like it, even though if you don't agree with that, you can almost understand somebody. He was a religious taking that side. He believed in his God. You know, you taking tell their, no different. Right. That was taking it. Taking their stand for what they fully um, believe in. You know, even if, you, if you're on two opposite sides of what you might believe, somebody planting themselves as a tree, you can almost kind of respect it. Didn't he, you know? didn't he do that thing with his eyes in the spot that they left, that they found her in? Like, I, he, I know he, fl- he took her and flew her somewhere, but like, when he when she was laying down there and he like did the thing with the eyes and then he was right that in the same down, spot. That was where they brought them back to to find her because it looked like shit was fucked up. And I thought it was funny that nobody noticed. Oh, that looks like laser eye marks. Well, he right. could, yeah. Well, he could. You know have what said, I mean? Like it looked like somebody came and raided and attacked no, there, but it was just him laser no, eye. That's why they needed Batman. He's really? the greatest detective on the planet. <laughs> what about Batman? He's a fucking dumbass. I hate him. Sorry. Yeah. It's a boring character. That I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. DC stuff doesn't really do stuff for me. I don't, I don't want to go on a DC trashing thing, but... Uh, well, I mean, lure me in and right. I'm in, but I, I just haven't I've, had anything. Like I said, the most interesting storyline that came out of DC for me came out of a video game. And it came out of the Injustice video game. I liked a little bit of the Punisher. I thought that was Punisher's Marvel. Oh, okay, fine. Right. I figured that might be DC. Right. I was giving him the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. You're talking there. about the... The one with Shane um, the Walking Dead. Like, yeah, I really the like the Dead. Ghost Rider character. I think he, there. I think they're bringing him back. Yeah, I, I think I heard. I that heard too. that they break their. Uh, he what should be name? the Punisher. Um, I, to me, like I don't care if that man never plays another role in a movie. He's in that that Shane King Richard the Walking movie. Dead. I know his name, uh, John Berenthal. There yes. you go. He's in he he's in uh, King Richard. We just saw a trailer for. He was one of the tennis coaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, the yeah. Venus and Serena. So, yeah. Story. So that's it's funny to see him like that because to me that man was born to play Frank Castle. He did a good job. I thought he did the he the, did a good that, job the best job out of anybody that's done him in my lifetime. I mean, Vinnie Jones. The of... Vinnie Jones one is a fucking blast of a movie. Like, yeah, it's a fun, it's a movie. fun movie, but it, it's not like you know. He's just fucking, it's a rated R. Really is he better place. than Thomas Jane? I thought Tom Jane was good. Really, really good. But I like John Barenthal better. He looks yeah. like Frank Castle to me from the comic books. Like when I see Frank Castle's drawn face on the page, I, I John Barenthal. I know this is a little off that. subject, but it's kind of right with what you're talking about. Has there been a better Superman in film than Christopher Reeve? I mean, they were terrible movies. Those are horrible movies. They're awful, man. That's not the what? question. Yes. Yes. Henry Cavill's any, better. Any one where they acted in yeah. anything post the 80s. Sorry, I'm not even going like, to... They I, had I don't good even dialogue. I don't like those movies. So you got... You guys... Also, I liked Man of Steel. Not a great movie, but I like that movie better than any of those old Superman movies. 
So yes, anybody was a was better sorry. actor you like playing that role. It was more Man believable. Of Steel. Yeah, I did. I On didn't purpose. See that. On purpose. For real. Yeah. This doesn't mean he loves it or it's a Why was movie. it bad? He can't just like a movie. He did the whole like background thing, the fall of <laughs> I uh, haven't seen it. The fall of Krypton. Like I thought that shit was good. So you I think they shit on it after that. So you know how like <sighs> so do you like the source material? Do you like movies? I like movies to stand on their own. Okay, so you just want it to stand on their own. I just want it to... I don't want to have to know a bunch of stuff in advance. Like the Superman source material. We were talking about it on the way home. I stopped the conversation early, but it's right on topic, I promise. We were like... I shouldn't have to know who the Eternals are before I go into the movie theater to enjoy True. that movie. I shouldn't need to have a, a, a you know a categoric knowledge of all of the past stuff to, to, to enjoy it. It should just be like, here's everything on the screen. I shouldn't have to know Superman more than he can fly and he was born on Krypton to, to be told everything in the movie. I, to me, though, to me, I, I say I almost... I, I, you got to respect the, the source MCU material. MCU But it's stuff. not that. The source material still exists and will always exist. No, what if I'm saying is... they don't adapt it the same, I'm, I'm watching a movie. Like, in a comic book, Super, Superman is not a brooding, crazy, psychotic, oh, I'm sad all the time. And you know, get the fuck out of That shit is depressing as hell. That Man of Steel shit where he walking around like, I'm just so sad and I'm lonely. Get the fuck? I haven't seen that It one. sucks. <laughs> it's stupid as hell. They was going... They was... Frank Miller made Batman dark instead of campy like he used to be. Right. Everybody liked it. It became very popular. So the whole of DC became dark and everybody was depressed and Aquaman's a fucking alcoholic throwing bottles in the ocean. He loved the ocean and he threw bottles in the ocean. He'll clean him up later. It, it's... It's on yeah, him. But, but, I, I just hear me out. Like I wasn't talking about Aquaman. I was not referring to No, just hear me out. Hear me out what I'm saying. Good. I'm just saying, for me, the... Christopher Reeve's version of Superman, the big goofy guy who can he can pull off being a superhero, but at the same time pull off being a goofy guy who's pretending to be a regular human nerd. He did that better than anybody. Everybody else, it was just like, oh, um, like Henry Cavill is walking around looking like Superman as Clark Kent. They I, fucking. They, I don't think you're they, gonna they, like my answer for my favorite Superman. Please say Brandon Ruth. No. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I can't remember his name. The dude from Smallville. Yeah, a lot of people liked him. Yeah, he was good. I, but that's long form storytelling. You, story so you got a chance to no. be he's more a, of he, the character. He shows up in Lucifer. I mean, like his hair is almost white. Yeah, he's got a full beard. His hair is almost white. I was like, where have I seen this dude before? And then, like, I, I had to actually look it up, and I was like, Oh my god, that's the dude from Smallville! Holy shit! I thought he looked like uh, Superman. Ooh. The the dude who played the Superman who played Clark Kent in Smallville, he showed up in Lucifer. He played uh Kane. Oh shit, that was him. Yeah, yeah that, wow, he got old. Yeah, he got damn, all this fucking, like yeah, his Jesus hair Christ. is like almost white. But no, but I didn't even recognize was, him. I thought point. he was the mo- he was the more most interesting portrayal of it. It felt the more most real, but that's yeah, because he got a chance to tell a long story, and that's that. All I'm saying is, I just I'm gonna sum like, that. I'm gonna sum all of Smallville up, like Sheldon Cooper did. We waited ten seasons to watch every someone we knew could fly fly. I don't know who Sheldon Cooper is. From Big Bang, you're theory. okay. You're good. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Oh, okay, my cousin watches that. Sorry. Go ahead. Whatever. We all know somebody who watches it. Yeah, my cousin loves it. I, I watch I, it. I've I, never I, watched. I it. like it. Makes me laugh. Yeah, it's it. not fucking the best shit on television, but like we don't no, always have to watch it like it was. You feel judged? Huh? It? it was rated like it was. I think that's what always annoyed me. But it got it, viewership. But People it was watched a huge that shit. hit, and it wasn't worthy of like it being that big of a yes. Hit. Shows like Parks and Rec, Community, better. definitely better shows. Yes, yeah. I, I will 100% agree with you. But do I enjoy it? That does not stop me from you enjoying You can like the Bang geeky Theory. stuff. Right. I mean, like, that's right. what it's that was what that one focused on. Right. It's right in your wheelhouse. I, yeah. That doesn't, you know, that makes sense. The characters were yeah, I don't know. Funny. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm lost. Oh, you never Big Bang never Theory? Big, Big You've Bang never Theory. seen an episode of Big Bang Theory? I've literally never watched it. I've seen the commercials. You know who Kaylee Kuoko is? I think it's pronounced Kuko. I thought it was Kuoko. I don't know. I'm fucking with you. I don't know who it is. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you'd think she was hot, so watch it just for that. I just I could just Google her. I wouldn't I be guess. Googling women. Shut Sorry up. if my wife is watching. She's watching, and your ass is grass when you get home. <laughs> right. 
So then, how long do you think we wait before another Eternals movie? They not they not coming back. I don't think you're going to get another one. Not at I all. Did not you feel, might see them appear in another. I think film. you're going to get cameos. No, no, sorry, we we went to the same fucking movie, right? It literally said at the end, "The Eternals will return." Yeah, they'll be back, but they won't yeah, be in their own movie. That doesn't mean they're going to be in their own movie. They've no, done that. Dumb. They've done when that. When they did it with Guardians, it was Guardians of the Galaxy will be back, and then they did another movie. Yeah, because that made a shitload of money, and people you know what? He's it. like now that I'm thinking about. It, he's right. Some of the other ones have said. Uh, like Doctor, uh, I think Doctor Strange said uh, at the end of his it says Doctor Strange will return in Thor, uh, the movie Thor. I think Thor I thought the implication what was that, was that one? there will uh, be another Eternals Ragnarok. movie. So he might be right when because at the end of that it just said the Eternals will return. At the end of the Guardians movie it says the Guardians of the, the Eternals will, will be return. back. They have like they that. have to close out the storyline. They have to connect it with the rest of the MCU. But they, I don't I, know if people they need are more of that. Another movie for now. I think and, they would need and, more and before And this they is coming it. from a guy who liked the movie. Uh, Listen, you don't I, think no, they need I more like story the to join it to anything else? Because right now it's standalone, essentially. Mm, they, from the, any other Marvel the, stories we know of. The connective tissue is going to be. Blade and. Is gonna no? I don't even think that. I think that's gonna be somewhere else. I think they they doing. I think that Blade thing with Morbius. Uh, I mean, with uh, the Black Knight and all that. I think that's gonna connect to the Sony Marvel universe. For some reason, well, they technically they uh, they're connected. Yeah, they're already connected. They're already connected. So uh, it's it's been made pretty much official that that's the case. But no, I think uh, I think they can come back. The end of Venom. I I've, just... I've 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 trying to stay spoiler free, but I'm not going to go to the theater to see that movie. I don't. I didn't like the first Venom movie. I don't uh, know that I'm going to care too oh, much. Oh wait a one. minute! And they that they the the post credit scene in Venom. Essentially connected the Sony Venom verse to the MCU, right? Officially, spoilers for Venom too. We've been talking spoilers the whole time, so yeah, if you're here, I mean, right. you, we assume you, you can't know. say spoilers after I've already said the spoilers. Point. Yeah, that doesn't help anything. I definitely, it only can. points out that he. Oh, you can say it. It doesn't. I, I already <laughs> did it. Right. Well, f- Fair enough, but we, I guess we didn't say spoilers for Venom. No, that's cool. They'll be all right. Yeah. Nobody wants to see Venom. Right. No, nobody's on here going, oh, you spoiled fuck Venom. Fuck Venom? Well, I like I, I, like I said, I stayed away from it. I, I finally was just like, fuck it. Because I, 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 just from scrolling past YouTube videos that I didn't even yeah. click on, I kind of got the gist of what was happening. It was like me trying to avoid um, the, the thing at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. I'm still not there yet, but, like, it was impossible to not hear about. Like, it was just... I'm trying not to say it in case other people haven't seen it. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess. Let's not spoil Mando. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we're, we're not talking Star oh, Wars, so we'll shit. stay away from any spoilers from Mandalorian. That was fire, and I don't even like Star Wars. Mandalorian's Shout good, out though. to Mando. Mandalorian's pretty good. I'm excited about that Star thing Wars? with Anakin coming back. Shout out to Bill Burr. But they can't retcon Shout out to, oh, they what's his name? Uh, Mayfeld. All, so. Get that. I, I, they they, they got to bring him back every season for at least an episode. No. Bill Burr? No. You think he's done? I think Bill Burr needs to move on to real acting in something like big screen. I would love to see him. He like, did. He was in that movie, um, uh, the, the shit, King what was Staten it called? Island. King of Staten Island. It's pretty good. <laughs> I was in the King movie. of Staten Island. He was yeah. an extra. Yeah, it's, it's Pete Davidson. No, 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 I don't. It's not like not shit no Pete. Why does everybody shit on Pete Davidson? Not, not shit no Pete, but I'm just saying because like, he looks like he doesn't try. Like that's all. Yeah, he Pete looks like care. a slacker yeah, I watched, that I watched fell into it. But like, I'm not accusing him of that. Yeah, his stand up, <laughs> like it was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't great. Oh, Pete's but it was hilarious. Than, I liked the movie. It wasn't hilarious. It was a little predictable. I've actually has, but it, you know, it's it was a story that's been told a hundred times. It was his version of Nine Mile. That's Eight Mile. Oh, shit. What was the other one? There was some trailer that we saw. Nine Mile was my version of Eight Mile. There, we, there was a trailer for something that we saw that uh, it was like, oh, it, it reminded me of Dune in the sense that it was like, we've already seen this movie. Oh, shit. I know what you're you talking about. You know what I'm talking about? The Moonfall? Moon, yeah, Moon. No, no it wasn't that one. Natural. That was the, one, that no, was that the was, only one that I that wanted to see. That was futuristic. But that was Roland Emmerich, there so was you know what you get. There was some movie in there, in the trailers, that She's was like, that, that oh my God, that's every movie tomorrow. we've already seen. Are you serious? Did I just he guess only, that correct? Roland Emmerich only does disaster films. 
I hate those movies. Yeah. When I saw his I will name. watch that one. No, that one looked good. It I'm looked not going to cool. lie. What, that one looked good. Yeah. I didn't fall good, bro. No, I didn't want anything to do with that. I like the thing about the title. Uh, I understand that you're trying to figure out the movie. If it's the guy who directed, the, if it's the same guy that directed The Day After Tomorrow, I'm fucking out. I don't like that. We had a discussion in school about that dumbass movie, and I remember laughing my motherfucking ass off in the class because you were you were like, "How do these motherfuckers get chased by a tidal wave?" <laughs> Bro, tidal waves don't chase a me. motherfucking thirty. No, sorry, fifty mile wide column of ice cold air. Right, that's what it was. Was freezing buildings that's 80, 90 stories high, and then it so got to a two story library. And they just ran in a room and closed the fucking door. Kill yourself. And it didn't Sorry, you're not supposed to say kill yourself. The and everything internet, inside of it. Kill yourself. Bullshit. It, this it, movie it, sucks. I don't. If that's the guy's name, is the first time I've ever heard his it name. It looked like an interesting premise. No, I'm gonna watch it, it Joel. I'm yeah. gonna watch it. It's Mo- gonna be, that movie is. That's, that's the only the thing I can think about, of. Though. But I'm, is the day I'm after the day after tomorrow. What he's talking about? There was another movie in there, and it was. I know. I'm sorry. And it was just like. Why do we need to? It's like, oh, at long last, we're going to get to see this movie. It felt like something that was an old thing, but it was like, we've seen this movie a million times. Like, it what trailers in other did we ways. See? We saw a couple of animated you know, House films. of Gucci, the Disney movie, the one with uh, Will Smith, the uh, King, King Richard, Reg- Richard, yeah, um, Moonfall. Yeah, was, I can't remember it was a what it bunch was. Of them. But it was just like stock movie stuff. It was just yeah, so standard thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, why? Do I we need just, we could just watch the old movies that were done well. I'm going to go out on a premise. limb and I hope I don't get canceled for this. But I, I didn't like Festus, Festos or whatever the fuck his name was. I didn't like his character. How come? I know I'm going back to that. But because it felt sure ish. Explain what that means. It felt shurish, like when they finally showed when they finally showed him fighting. It's like the mindset of the person who directed it couldn't move away from this is science person. They're gonna make two gauntlets. That's literally the exact same thing Shuri did. Yeah, but she built hers by herself. She didn't create them. He fucking manifested them out of nothing. But but it's still the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it was something else he did. This is the genius person. They fight like this. And they do something passive where they don't kill people. See, that was just one thing, he though. Makes, he makes weapons. He should have made something fucking deadly. And he he was just like, I'm going to restrain you. No, you should you could have showed his ability and showed how powerful Icarus is by having him make weapons that would try to, like, rip him apart and have Icarus. See, he wasn't trying to kill him. That's But that's my, you should have had him trying to kill him. That's my point. Do you point. think it's one of those things where they can't hurt each other? They can't kill each other kind of thing? No, I don't think no, that's the case. No, they kind of, they, they oh, no, crossed the that, you know, right. yeah, cross that bridge right. a second. Technically, before. he didn't deal the blow, but he pushed her over the cliff where the deviants killed right. her. Yeah. There's a little work around. Yeah. Okay, so I had a question See, about... I liked his powers. I thought they were cool looking. I thought, the, the, like, yeah, like, see, but see, he was already in the mind space where he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to fight. I, now, the, the goofy head... I'm just head, fucking with you. I'm just... Like, fucking with you. No, I'm just but you ever watch? The, you ever see some of those YouTube videos where they show like the behind the scenes of them filming those scenes and how stupid it looks? Oh, like them uh, doing like that shit, right? Where they like, oh, that, or where they go, uh, they uh, they say, she's like, I'll be right back, and it's like she like just jumps up in the air. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, so serious question. The one thing I didn't want, I want to make sure we didn't it's miss. It's bad. It's really bad. On this one was the but way yeah, that the... the way that the deviant when it absorbed, it was like. It was like it was leveling up each time. And obviously it was because it was getting the eternal magic juice, whatever. The first time they fought it, they didn't know she was dead yet, right? But it became able to speak at one point. Like, it evolved into... It was like Pokemon in that sense. I don't know much about Pokemon, but they had different, like, stages of a character. And it would evolve. It became able to talk. And it felt like they knew each other. It That's fe- my point. It, yeah, That's what it I felt, was saying earlier. Yeah, I just felt like we didn't go into it deep he enough. He was like, like our our memories, uh, our it's memories. It's all a collective thing, like, I think. Also, the thing was, 
I'm, I'm was not he looking saying, at the levels, okay, but... no, he, was he saying it as, as far as not like that they have adjoined memories, but like this big, the Asheron or the, the big, the big guy took all of our memories. No, well, like what, that, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, what I'm saying not, is, you mean like, like he, he took your memories, more. he took me I, memories, I, he took I, your I, memories. I feel you know? like he's from one of those fucking planets that they was talking about before. And you know, Marvel got this thing where they always kind of, um, well, not just Marvel, it's a Hollywood and literary thing it's foreshadowing the um what was his name uh that controls people with his mind um anybody uh druig druig sure, xavier druig said that makes them like us remember when he was talking about the deviants yeah and it, he was like that he said he didn't say they make the, that makes them like us he said that makes them us Right. Basically saying, like, we're the same thing, but he was saying it in a philosophical way, but really under the surface of that, that's just they were saying, like, yeah, these are the same fucking things, like the the, um, the Eternals and the fucking... Deviants. Deviants are the same fucking creation. Essentially. Or they were created by the same person? No, the same same creation, I think. They were created for the same purpose. Because the one got away. If you were a deviant. The one got away from him, deviated from him. Right, that's my point. If you were a deviant and you stole memories from. They had four eyes and shit. They weren't like. Yeah, but they was on a different planet. Do you think if he got one more hit, he would have become human looking? No, I think they was from another planet. You mean because, what? He would have gotten one more power set. Yeah. Do you think he would have evolved beyond that and gotten even more human like? No, I think they. they I think they it's, look. I think the Eternals look human because they was coming to humanity. I think those deviants. They say they came from deep space. I know that part is kind of conjecture or whatever, but right. I think yeah, they look they lied alien. About the other thing, right? But I think they look alien because they were on an alien planet before they came here. You know what I'm saying? So, so the point being, they were sent there, and then they deviated from whatever their mission right. was, and decided to come to Earth. F- yeah, but for what? To keep killing shit. They need. They, to keep they want consuming. They want. They, life. they might be trying to stop more um, celestials from coming into existence. That may be their mission. It seemed like it was a big cycle. Like they would send the the, the deviants to, like. kill off the planet to make it ready for them to plant a celestial in it. And then they'd send the Eternals to get rid of the Deviants so that the life could could percolate on the planet to feed the uh, uh, Eternal, or not the Eternal, the uh, Celestial inside the planet. And right. then, so that just goes for however many thousands and thousands of years till it gets to a point like they were saying, like, our planet's ready now. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> our planet's ready now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... I, it was like a cycle, like it just keeps repeating itself. And wait, their planet's ready now, meaning re- it's the ready planet's to ready to, to 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 yeah, birth the that planet must celestial. <laughs> okay, like there's so much sentient life. So then, and is the implication that every planet is just an incubator? Not every, not every, just planet. the ones where he planted the seeds. Just the ones where he inserted. Right, the the planets that he penetrated. Just the tip. That's all it takes. And we're off script again. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no script here, buddy. I know. Yeah, no, no, there's no such thing as off script. Um, but yeah, no, no, it wasn't my favorite Marvel movie. It definitely I wasn't agree. mine either. I don't know. Eventually, I do want to do like a. I don't know if you want to get in on it or not, but like do a ranking, and I got to discuss as soon that. As I'm the, done, just of the Marvel movies, just rank them one, two, however many they are. If you want to include the TV shows or some shit like that, it would be kind I of think any of, kind of a fun homework project count. to think about, and like just it, it would spur, I think, some decent discussion. Especially like you're like, dude, it's 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 kind of annoying sometimes, but it's it's also like really fun to it'd like be boring if we all agreed, to, right? If, and if I'm not doing thing. it for that purpose. I know either. you're not, and that's the fun part about it is <laughs> like, dude, like having some of those discussions about Star Wars and Anakin Skywalker, and and like it made me look at it a little differently. I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you, dude. Yeah. Like I'm still a Jedi fan, and I'm still at this They're shit, but like, so but it made me it made me There's look at it completely differently because I grew up uh, when I grew up and it just in my mind. Sand. In my mind, by default, the Jedi were the good guys. Because the, because Darth Darth you like, were imprinted on from four, five, and six, I wasn't. So I saw one is the first Star Wars movie I watched start to finish was Episode One. That's probably why y'all don't like the first Superman. Why? I grew up watching Superman. 
Like you may no, Weed, no, no, Reeves. No. It, that may be why you like it. That's what I'm it. saying. That's probably why y'all we don't like it. have every reason not to like it. No, no, no I'm them, saying you only like suck, it because though. of nostalgia. Bullshit, they don't, they don't suck. suck. Bro, Superman 3 is horrible. That's the one where he's Richard Pryor. The, the way with the mirrors. The, 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 no, no, that, that was Superman 2. That was first, first and second. Yeah, they filmed first and second kind of together. It was a, it was a contractual. That's uh, a movie you'd show to somebody? Dead ass. Like, hey, baby, let's watch Superman. My wife ain't watching none of that shit. Right. She has good taste. No, she no. She just ain't watching that shit. She's trying to pay you a compliment, but fine. Reject it. (laughs) I'm not. Hey, Joel, I ain't dumb. I'm, 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 look. I don't want to go home and get fucked up, but no, she, she, I have to tell the truth. She walks in the door. She just starts blasting. She does not pick good films. But no, um. She's a fan of the man that we trashed, isn't she? Like on the last couple of podcasts, the one Tyler Perry. Yeah, she's a, she likes Tyler Perry shit. Right. Yeah. Oh, speaking so of why Tyler do you like Superman? Justify liking no, it other than trying to, That's what I'm that trying movie, to go. You're that's what I'm trying to go back Superman into. Superman movie. Okay. I like Superman movies because to me they represent what the character was supposed to represent. It was supposed to be this guy who wanted to connect with humanity. He did that through his love for this one woman and his parents. He wanted to be regular. So he went around and tried to act like the most un, un, you know, unassuming person that you could imagine. He he played that part to a T, and the actor was able to bring that to the screen. He looked like a big goofy guy, and that's that's what I'm saying. To me, when I see Henry Cavill, he looked like a fucking bodybuilder, dude. Like this dude is walk as Clark Kent. He's walking around looking like Superman. He's literally like. They like his physique so much. Yeah, but Superman this can't change his a, body mass. I know. Yeah, he can't change his body mass, but you can make yourself look small with your posture. And that's a little bit of what's called acting. Christopher Reeve would literally hunch over a little bit and act goofy and a little it's a shame uncoordinated. It was in a time when movies kind of sucked. Yeah. Yeah, too. To be fair, it was some limitations back then. Yeah. But, you know. I would like to I have. I'm not one of these people that has any problem remaking movies. We've said it a hundred times on here. Remake Star Wars, four, five, and before six. They, it was, before, before they, they seven, announced eight, nine. The, the seven, eight, nine episodes, they, uh, I was oh, convinced first, that it wasn't ever going to happen. Okay. And we literally we had, had to talk we like had a discussion days before it And I was else. like, I thought they, I always thought if they were going to go back to Star Wars, before this was before they like I said before Disney got a hold of it and decided to do what they did with it right recast film the original refilm redo the original three movies and get some pacing going for you know what I'm saying sake. like redo them They're with brutal. today's with today's technology today's pacing redo those movies. I know that's blasphemous to a lot of Star Wars fans out there. I get it. I was on board with that. I would have been perfectly okay with that. They did a good job with Solo. The can kid I, that played, Can I pitch you something? No, hold on. Let me finish. They did a, they did a good job with Solo. Okay? They did a good job casting another person to play that role. To me, that could have that kid could have fit as Han Solo in the new Star Wars remake trilogy. Can Am I, I wrong? Can I pitch you something? Please. Let's Let's cast a kid as the new Luke Skywalker. Yeah, like a teen. Like, right? Yeah. Let's have him be a wizard, though. Okay. Why would you want to do that? So he can go to like this school called Hogwarts? I guess I'm not seeing your point. My point is they already remade the first three Star Wars. It's called Harry Potter. Those movies were nothing. Follow them fucking stories and tell me it's not the same. Those bored the shit out of me. Well, they did bore me too. It was, it was an old man. It was an old man wizard telling him he was special, a special birth. His but parent, he was an he orphan. He got yeah. Is he? He literally did the same thing. He eventually had to fight the Dark Lord and find out that he had some kind of connection with him at the same time and all this. So other. you think those Star Wars movies are so good I that think they're J.K. Rowling stole a fucking Star Wars story and made it into. Harry Potter. If, if they were going to redo four, five, and six, where would you sit on that? Honestly, I didn't like the uh, five and six. So yeah, you can make all them shits. I didn't like five and six. A lot of people love those. Feel like they movies. had room to be improved upon, and like I feel the same way. Just I thought, deep like I dive said, into hey. Star Wars, and that <clears throat> would be so fun. Like, show me yeah, a. J.K. Rowling happened to ever like, see this. I'm sorry. 
What? I don't disagree don't with some of the that. similarities. I don't know. But I did not get I that. I didn't get that. J.K. Rowling. You, you, you pointed out some similarities in the stories. Yes, sure. But I did not get that feeling when I was watching Harry Potter. To, yeah. Again, this Just like you Star wouldn't Wars. get the feeling that you watched uh, Doctor Strange that you already saw that. But it's literally Iron Man. Well, yeah, those are origin same stories. Same movie. But what I'm saying is the exact same origin story. Iron Man never broke his hands and big money, sought out big surgery. Money, big money player gets life-threatening injury, has to change his ways to become a okay, better a person. broad stroke, sure. I know. You can do what, that with a lot of stories. I know, but I'm just saying those two right. it's the same shit, man. We're almost at a point where we don't need movies. Like, well, we're right. Like, a, where, like, that's why, that's where I'm saying, like, the... I got the, a new one. That, to me, that's where the, uh, the, the cinematic storytelling in... Video games okay. is, I think, a natural progression into like, yeah, this is great storytelling, and I'm actually interacting with it now as well, other than just sitting back and watching it. Like I, yeah, like but- you said, like you, yes, these a lot of these stories. If you take them, if you take the details out and take them back to bold bold point and broad strokes, yeah, a lot of them can be really similar. Sure, you can you can probably point those same bullet points out you just did for Star Wars and Harry Potter to seven or ten other movies. You cannot. Okay, (laughs) not for that. Those are a little too specific. It's not like talking about a twin that was separated from his other twin, and then his dad didn't have that part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, sure, you could find a few things, but I don't know. I never would have thought Harry Potter as Luke Skywalker in terms of a that being his role in that movie. I don't know. But again, Luke Skywalker wasn't the important char- most important character to me in Star Wars. I always saw him as kind of an annoyance. Like he wasn't really somebody that I would root for like, oh man, he makes good choices all the time. This is my guy. He he won't let me down. When Peter Griffin pointed out that Luke Skywalker was upset about uh, Han not believing in the Force, he was like, "Oh, you mean the thing that you just learned about like five seconds ago?" <laughs> <laughs> He's a little, he's a little bastard. Like, shut up. But yeah, no. Um, fuck Fastos. I was just say all. I that. liked the the guy that can control people. Druig was cool. I that with one Druid. was interesting. Yeah, especially cast oh, that right like, when all the he looks like. One of the like the actor, he looks like crazy. That dude, like the whole like uh, cult compound that he had going on with all the people shooting the shotgun at the same time. Yeah, that, that was, was dope. fucking dope. That, yeah, was, that, was, that dope. was a cool part of the movie. Like, that was a kind of like Rick and Morty doing. feel to it, where he yeah. you know controlled he was the like, whole civilization, but sacrificing them kind of in the fight. And when somebody ran up to him, was like, "Let them go!" Like right. And he was like, "Fine," and he let them all go. And then they like they put their guns down and they like ran and like right. you know got him out of there. But like he, they oh, saw what let he him was go doing. only so they didn't. But get I think murdered. what what they what they said about him was that original group of people that he went down and stopped. That it was like what was it Mayans or Aztec? Yeah, they were they were, the, they were having a war in. And he, when he's like, "I'm done with this." Yeah, we've been instructed to sit here and watch this. I can't watch this anymore. And then he went down and he took control of all the people and walked out. He's like, "I've had these people for generations." So I think those original group of people, he had taken to that island or wherever he went and lived there with them. And, and they just, continued and they breeding continued and breeding and, and like he's had these and, for yeah. genu- okay. I've had these, I've dealt with these people for generations and nothing bad has happened. You know, like he was like, we're good. Like we've been good here until, you know, the events of the movie. Yeah. But that's way like, I heard one time a thing, a, a philosophical question offered to somebody. If you could go into this pod Okay, and you could live the best life. They could program it in. You could have anything you want, the, your fantasy life. It would be perfect in every like, way that you could want it to be. You could have bad stuff if you want it to, just to even it out. Whatever. It's your dream life. Would you knowingly get into that pod? Because you're giving up your real life no, to do I so. Wouldn't. Okay, so that's a, that's a, that's the question right there. It's like how far? Like I, that was going to be my that was going to be my follow up question. That was going to be my follow up question to you is like, what are my current circumstances? Just like, yeah, I feel like you're just like right now what you are not. No, then I wouldn't get in the pod. Yeah, no, no I would I wouldn't do it because um, if I was I'd in rather the, have a shitty if I was ho- real life. If I was homeless, fake, yeah. in the streets, then maybe 
If I if nope, like still said, wouldn't. I don't know, man. Like you, you can turn you're, that shit around. Still, but your circumstances dictate your thought process. We can all sit here and say that now. We got warm, cozy houses to go home to. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that has a super shit life right now might be more than willing to hop in a fucking pod and fucking turn that shit on to live a fantasy life, even though they're not really living it. You know what I'm saying? Like right right now, yeah, we have good lives. Like you, yeah, I wouldn't so, trade but it. That's what those You're people. Right. Are, that's the position they're put in without yeah. the choice. Well, they were being slaughtered by conquistadors, so. Right, that was that? But they still didn't have free will once he took over them. True that. This like, is true. They were just his slaves, essentially. They would do whatever mindlessly. We didn't get a lot of detail. Were they just under That's his the control all the time? Fun. That's the kind. No, of- they weren't because when they came up to talk to him, <laughs> I it, feel like he they only under his turned control until he turned them. Right, he turned into him. Okay. And Fight. even when he relinquished control, when they said let him go. One of them called out, like, what do you want us to do? Like, once Yeah, see, I think they were there. I think so he they're kind of them complicit. Like, he only, yeah. but I, like, he either, like. Yeah, they weren't like, where are we? Where, right. where the hell right. are we Where at? the hell are we at? They were, when they came to, they knew where they were. Right. So they, they, so they were, had been okay, living there. And, like, maybe he's just telling me, listen. I can take I'm here. Over. I can take over your minds. If we need to live as this collective or do this to accomplish a certain goal faster or whatever. It didn't seem like they were building like they weren't super technologically advanced they were living in wooden fucking huts yeah well he yeah. already had blamed fastos for uh his technology and shit yeah causing a lot of so problems did, did we get all the way to current current day when the thing came out of the water that was i think fairly current yeah that was current so now so all this stuff just seems to keep happening in present day like they've been here for thousands of years and it, it has to happen right around the time the Avengers fuck up some cities. And, like, it just feels like they waited all this time for it. And now, like, that's when the baby thing is going to happen. And now what? So they're going to come back well, and judge the planet. And- wait. See, now, I think, who was it, who was it that said, uh, Nick Fury said it, I think, that when, when, they, when they beat, what did, what did he say when they when they 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 announced to the galaxy that that Earth was ready for a higher form of warfare? Right. That was so I think right. like all of these things keep happening in a row because of like the emergence of the Avengers and the superpowered people that are on the planet. And what, all the these things are emerging. Hearing like, about it, like yes, like more thi- like more things are being drawn to Earth. It always it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and comic universe, Earth is always a a it. it it's a drawing point for powerful beings. Okay. Right. Well, it has to be that way because we're, well, because on, we're on earth. Right? right. Nobody wants to read a lot right. of stories about. That's why I think Marvel be. connects so much more with people than DC because DC takes place in completely made up cities, star city, metropolis, yeah, central city, Gotham city. You know, like those are all made up places. Marvel takes place in New York, San Francisco, right real cities you know what i'm saying like they plan it in the real world Always a lot of it the takes neighborhoods, place in New York. like hill's kitchen and shit. yeah for daredevil yeah mm-hmm. hmm. right. i mean any other thoughts on this movie i don't really Anything have too we didn't much other talk else? about i would say that if you're a fan of marvel go watch that shit if you're not a fan of marvel go watch that shit anyway and that, that's about it man enjoy the movie for what it is that's my right. personal take on it enjoy it for what it is don't try to make it into the other marvel movies just let it, it be it, what it is. If you're going and sitting and expecting a ton of connective connectivity between this and the other Marvel movies, you're not gonna you're not gonna get that. That's not what that's not what this is. Oh, but wait, no, no. So I, want, I, I did want to touch on one more point that okay. you were talking about earlier about like not having to know anything about these characters to go sit down. To be fair, at this point with the Eternals. You sh- if you're going to see this movie and this is your first Marvel movie, what's wrong? Why are you not watching the other ones? Why have you? If this is the first one where you're jumping in, wh- I, see to me like at this but point, it doesn't even matter. I'm sorry, like I don't think you should. I don't think at this point, twenty five fucking movies in, that you should be gearing it towards the people who don't know about the right, characters. Right, but you don't. But you could have. You've watched all the other ones, and how much have they mentioned the Eternals? Fair enough. I, That's all I mean. I'm just saying that I don't think that... Like, we like, shouldn't have to go into it knowing, like, like, how it was in the comic book for it to make sense on in screen. In about four different movies they've That's mentioned. That's true. Celestial. I'm just saying, like, like with the Eternals, like, to, um, this is not a jumping in point. Yeah. 
But they never mention the know, Eternals. They mention the Celestials. Right, they mention they the have, Celestials. Yes. That's like them mentioning the, the the Stones, and then eventually you get to the oh, Infinity, the Infinity yeah, Stones, yeah, yeah. and they're yeah, part of the thing. And right. So yeah, this is one of their little subtle... And I, I'm imagining those those little ball things that come out are going to be important at some point beyond talking to... Oh, yeah. yeah. I was maybe even expecting some sort of connection or or maybe a brief little one-off line saying where the ten rings came from I like thought i thought maybe we were going to get an answer for that be in it. and i thought which that is shang chi was the movie that just came out before this but i want to say something shang chi and the legend of the ten rings this is the first marvel film with an actual love scene it was short it was totally unnecessary short could have been unnecessary but i think the director chloe zhao was going for a different tone from the other Marvel movies. She I, wanted to make I, a, I, like flat was, out drama. I will admit that a couple of times I I nodded off for like 30 seconds, so I might have missed that. I don't remember a love scene. Yeah, it was on the beach. Yeah, right before that. a dude started singing out there. Yeah, I missed that too. Might have fell asleep for longer than I thought. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did. I nodded off for a second. Like, it was, like an action scene started, and I was like, oh shit. Like... I didn't feel like I was out for that long, but maybe I was out longer. No, it thought. wasn't a long love scene. And like Joel said, it was a little bit unnecessary. They didn't have to show it. But what I'm saying is. Like they kissed and then they then they're naked and he's on top of her and right. like upper back. And it's just like, do we need that? Uh, but upper I think, back? Upper back. Like his yeah, upper back from like, behind. Yeah. Like him. Oh. She got the passion face. Who was, and who was making love? I, uh, was, Cersei and. Uh, oh. But I what I'm saying is, all. what was dope about that was. That's the director was going for a different tone from the other Marvel films. I'm just never. And I just I, I don't kind of like that. I don't need. So you don't think she wedged it in movies. there, like just because there wasn't one in a Marvel movie yet? I think she wedged it in there because she wanted to show oh, an actual love. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> that's not yeah. a, that's not a well deserved high five. You, and yet I, I achieved you, listen, my high I, five. You got it. But I'll listen. I think she put it in there because she wanted to do a movie like any other movie. If you have a couple and they've been together for years, sometimes you show a love scene. It happens in most movies. I just find it but unnecessary. Them, I totally get why you would do it to prove these people are into each other. But beyond that, as an adult now where I'm not looking for a sex scene in a thing, like, ooh, look, a sex scene. I, no, no, I don't I think don't, it was there for that. I think it was, like I said, no, I, think, I, I, think I just, mean, just there as a movie. I'm turned off by yeah. them in general. I don't, I find them uncomfortable for the most part. I don't need to be sitting there watching a movie with my kids and then somebody's having sex. Oh, I was about to say, don't watch Team America World Police then. I know that's a terrible movie. Anyway, I don't like but it. That's got to be like <gasps> puppet sex. It's just it, it, try, it, 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 it tried it tried too hard to be funny, and it wasn't as funny as it thought it was. America, fuck yeah! That's the funniest thing from that movie. Right. No, the funniest thing from that movie is Freedom Calls a Buck O Five. Okay. Yeah, I'll take your word for that. Ah, y'all, you sons of bitches. But anyway, no, uh, Chloe Zhao put a love scene in the morning. tell my mommy said that. Jeez, rude. <laughs> we get a call in the morning. <laughs> but no, Chloe Zhao put a, a love scene in a Marvel movie. We hadn't had that. <clears throat> I just think that that was important for setting a different tone from the other films. They had a Marvel movie that wasn't based a, around a whole lot of fucking humor. That's another difference in tone because realistically there was jokes in the movie. Yeah, Kumail mainly. But outside of uh, Endgame and Infinity War, most of the Marvel movies is pretty goddamn funny. You know what I mean? Like you get a lot of comedy in Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah. But okay. in, in this movie, it was more dramatic. And I, that's what I'm saying. I think this was one of the first. I mean, dude, but even in Endgame, like when the, they're, if they're in the middle of the biggest fight scene in the fucking movie and – uh, cat picks up Mjolnir, and they get you get a little line there. He's like, "I knew it," you know, like he like that's that's a funny moment during a fucking high intense fucking action scene, and it, it fucking worked. About it. Everybody was it screaming worked. at the top of their lungs when they first saw that shit. Yeah, people was going ape shit on that. Scene. Right, that's one of the best scenes, and that's one of my favorite scenes. The other one that did that because I swear I saw that in a recent <laughs> one. Vision picked it up and just like handed it to him like no big yeah. deal. Yeah. Okay. Right after the party where they were all trying to pick it up. And yeah. he's just like, here, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a calculated move by Vision. Just want to go back to that. He said, there's no way I can get you to trust me. And then he picked it up to show you can trust me. Mm -hmm. You know, right. He was modeling. 
they take so much shit out of Marvel movies. I, I, it'd be pissing me off. He modeled himself after Thor. Like when you watch the original cut of that movie and watch like the scenes they took out, him and Thor fought for a little while. You they know what I'm saying? Thor in this one, didn't they? Now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, Kamal Nanjiani said uh, Thor, Thor followed him around, around as a kid. Yeah. yeah. Right, and now you won't even return. Now he's a big Avenger, and you won't even return my calls. I, I, I heard the rest of that line. Thank you for clearing that. I meant to ask who he said that about. I did not. Yeah, catch it was Thor. It was Thor. I did not catch that. Who he okay. said that about? I was trying to think, I, and then I got distracted by something else that was happening. Because I was trying to think. I was like, all right, who's old enough to be? You know, I, I, the only answer to that question is Thor. Yeah, being no. as ancient as they are. But yeah, Vision, yeah. Vision definitely modeled itself after Thor, and a lot of times you get a lot. Like he, fuck it. Go back and watch that shit. And if you got the DVD or the uh, Blu-ray or 4K or whatever, watch the deleted scenes. It, it gives you a lot more characterization. I love. Okay, I've never seen the deleted scenes. I'll oh yeah, go you gotta watch it. it. He like the the fight that they had, uh, like in the movie. You just see Thor like like toss him over his shoulder, and then Vision flies up to the like window and stays there for a second. Yeah, and everybody stops. But yeah. in the actual deleted scene, like they're fighting, fighting. And then, like, at the end, that's why when he looked at Thor and saw the cape, he kind of, like, and imitated him and did the cape and shit like, like Thor was his Well, Thor was robot. the one who basically brought him. Right. Thor brought him to life. Right. right. But, he was his dad. I mean, we can keep dipping in all night long. Yeah, I got nothing but, else. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty good on this topic. Any, anything I'm else? I'm good. I don't think I have anything else left on the Eternals. If you are a fan of Marvel. You can always come back to it again. If, if, you, if you're a fan of the Marvel movies. You should see it. Go see it, yes. Uh, I will say that I, w- I don't know what we're doing schedule-wise. We haven't gotten on a, too much of a fixed schedule with this podcasting stuff yet. But I would The audios like- are coming out every Sunday. Oh, okay. And so, when we do ones like this where they're special episodes, they'll come out as soon as possible. ASAP. For, yeah. So, what, what I was getting ready to say <laughs> was like somewhere down the road here in the next couple months or something, I would like to get a, 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 a... It doesn't have to be weekly per se, but maybe once a month. We get together and do a Marvel specific podcast. Talk about Here. talk about just in the world of Marvel upcoming anything. shit trailers we've seen, any new movies that have like right. come out, and just have a have a, a an hour discussion about okay. Marvel because MCU is one of my favorite things in entertainment. I know it's his. I don't know where you're at on it yet. You haven't finished it, so I don't know where. I know you're not going to be too huge on it. it it's not. It's not your thing, it's not per lost. se. Right. I wish but I know that you can enjoy it for what it is I in can. the story. I yeah. do enjoy your perspectives on these things. Like, I like love getting a, a text message, just fuck Captain America, and then having the follow-up discussion. As well. I was like, I got to know why. We have to right. have, like, we have to talk it out. But, like, yes. So, like, I do want to add this in addition to our weekly How to Watch TV podcast to sit down and talk Marvel-specific stuff. It doesn't have, like I said, it, it, I don't know if there's enough there to talk. We could, there is. We could get together there's weekly. Definitely enough. To talk there's about. enough to talk right. about, but that's not really the focus. Of, we're, we're all of anything you can enjoy on your television screen for that for our regular How to Watch TV show. So like we I mean, add another show. I'm sure, there'll the be road. stuff discussed in there too. Right. So, anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Um, until next time. Um, one quick thing before oh, go I go. Go ahead. I was my finger up was going to be me playing the music. I was going to guys. Out. When you get a chance, I need you to go and watch The Harder They Fall. That's okay. important to me personally. Well, that's TV, what we can discuss that TV on the show? on the How to it's Watch a, TV podcast. It's a new movie starring Idris Elba and um, Jonathan Majors on Netflix. Just came out this week. Oh, Johnny and, Major, huh? Mm-hmm, and they got um, idea. They, the characters are based on real life black people who actually existed in the old west and it's dope as hell I don't care if you don't like westerns watch that shit anyway they deserve it it's a really good movie that Fair was enough. it okay and on that note this is how to watch TV see you later <laughs>